my new series after I screwed up on the Baltimore one. I completely forgot that it doesn't auto save unless you play, and I thought it auto saved. So we're gonna start over here with the Miami Marlins, who have an okay future. Not the best, but not the worst. We can definitely do something with this team to make them be able to compete for the future. They're not going to be competing now. And I don't really want to rush any of the prospects. So we're just going to go and take it nice and slow. This live stream. But first, what we are going to go and do is edit all of the prospects again. So this is probably going to take a little bit so if you saw the Baltimore series you all know how this is gonna work so just bear with me please actually we don't have to edit them it's just gonna take too long mm -hmm. but let's just get into the scene so starting actually first I do want to go out and sign sign for Eden First one I do want to go out and sign is Henderson Alvarez, and our roster is currently full. So I'm going to do Class A and just release a pitcher that I don't need. Is there anyone else? Yeah, as well though, Arcia. Connor Scott. Well, let's release Soto. I do want to sign on that guy. Alright, cool. So starting pitcher now, our ace, most likely going to be Henderson Alvarez. Um, See a pitch last year. Caleb Smith, pit, Smith pitched a little bit last year in New York, but I don't want to play him. And I don't want to play Arena as well. Let me just call up Adam Colley. First things first, our rotation is going to look like this. We are going to go Henderson Alvarez, Wigan Chin, Dan Straley, Yarlin Garcia, and Adam Conley. And then we'll hop into our bullpen quick, and then we'll look at everyone's stats f for the past. So, relievers, we will just go Kyle Barraclog, Drew Stickrinder has winning, Winninger has played, Taryn Guerrero has barely played, but she can play in the majors this year. We'll go 1, 2, 3. Four, five. I don't wanna, don't wanna play him. Six, seven. Right, hang on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, so we will just send down this guy. Actually, moving back to AAA. One, two, three. Oh, you must have too many on the bench, alright, so that's no problem. So, we'll go Barraclaw, G G Guerrero, second rider for that, uh, but I want actually the highest clutch. Whoever has like a high, the highest clutch. And whoever has the highest stamina does pain, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, cool, so that's good. So then we got. Des Payne, Guerrero, Bronco, Guerrero, second rider, Winninger, and Barraclog. Um, Barraclog's probably going to be our best pitching trade asset. Um, if we head here, we don't really need Kellis in the majors. We only need one catcher. So, Real Muto, one of the best catchers in the game, could potentially be it beyond the move. He's, he's going to be a trade deadline asset, probably. Uh, he's going to be a trade asset. Garrett Cooper used to play in the MLB, so I don't have to worry about that. He can play outfield as well. Yadio Rivera can't really do that. Alright, cool. Can only play shortstop. So I'm actually going to send down Garrett Cooper to AAA. Then I'm going to call up Eric Campo because he can play basically every position. So. I do actually like that a lot. Then you got Martin Prado as our starting third base there. 
Miguel Rojas there, Dietrich and Mario. Luce Brinson has played last year, right? How do you do last year? He did okay. Anderson. Just like glitched out. I don't want to rush Anderson right now. I keep him in triple A ball. Oswaldo Garcia can start. So then, do you have to call up? We'll call up Rafael Ortega. So then, now for the lineup wise, I want Oswaldo Garcia being starting right field. No, that's probably DH, right? Oh, no, I could call up another outfielder. Because I actually, I can call up a DH, right? Um, or DH can actually be Garrett Cooper, I guess. Yeah, um, I'll get the lineup situated. I'll get the lineup situated in a minute. Because Cooper can, Cooper can play corner outfield. Hang on just one moment, please. Alright, so yeah, we'll go through the lineup right now. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna set it up though to where where it fits really really well. Um, four batting third is fine. Fourth, real mute. Uh, fifth, uh, actually, honestly, it looks fine. So then we got Prado, Rojas, Bor, Arcia. Fifth, Castro or real mute. Sixth, Castro. Seventh. Dietrich, Dietrich, A. Garrett Cooper, 9 Lewis Brinson, alright, and then the bench, obviously, Holiday, Ortega, and that, so, we will just go over what the stats are looking like, so, Henderson Alvarez is in his second stick stint here in Miami, 2011 with Toronto, he went 1-3 and three with a 3.53 ERA in 63.2 innings, last year, 9 and four, I mean, 2012, 9-14 and 14 with the 4.85, 2013, when he was with Miami with us for the first time, I guess. Uh, he went 5-6 and six with the 3.59 ERA. 2014-12-7 with a 2.65. 2015-0-4 with the 6.45. Didn't play in 2016-2017 with Philly. He went 0-1 with the 4.36 or 4.30 ERA. And he's back here. He's a career ERA of 3.82. He is 27-35. Um... Still young and still is going to produce so, produce, so I'm very happy with what he should be able to bring to the table. Next I've got is Wee Yin Chin, who has played with two teams over, over the course of his career, Baltimore and obviously here in Miami. 2012 was his first MLB season. He went 12-11 and 11 with a 4.02 ERA. 2013 with Baltimore, he went 7-7 seven, seven and seven with a 4.07 ERA. Then in 2014, he had an amazing year, going 16 and 6 with a 3.54 ERA. But I think that was when Baltimore was like really, really good too. 
and then 2015, they uh, he went 11 and 8 with Baltimore with a 3.34 ERA, which was which is the lowest of his career so far. 2016, his first year with Miami, he went 5 and 5 with a 4.96 ERA, so he struggled here in Miami his first um season. Then last year, he did okay, 2 and 1 though. Only pitched into 30 innings with a 3.82 ERA, so hopefully he can have a comeback year, sort of, I guess. I, I assume that he must have gotten injured, considering he only pitched in th 33 innings. I don't think he was... Yeah, no, he only played in 9 games, so... Anyway, next guy we got is Dan Straley, who has played for a couple of teams in his career. In 2012, he played for Oakland. Um, he stayed there until about 2014, where I think he was traded somewhere. Maybe he was even traded to Houston, I don't know. But um, all it says is total, so... Anyway, 2012, he pitched He pitched with a 2-1-1 record for a 3.89 ERA. Not too bad. Oakland, in 2013, he pitched a 10-8 record with a 3.96 ERA, so not that bad as well. 2014, he went 1-3 with a 6.75 ERA. Then 2015, with Houston, he went 0-1, 64.2 innings with a 5.40 ERA. 2016, up in Cincinnati, he went 14-8 with a 3.76 ERA. So, um, and then 2017, with us, he went 10-9 with a 4.8. To six ERA, so a career ERA of 4.25. We forgot to look at Chen's. Chen's is 3.90, and Chen also has a career record of 53 and 38. Dan Shirley with a career record of 37 30. Now with this team, I'm not really going to be looking for wins and losses totals when it comes to starting pitcher. I mean, I will as well, but not all that much. We're going to be focusing on the ERAs because we do not really have the lineup that is able to produce wins. So what we're really going to be f focusing on is like the ERA, if they can keep it down. So we did Straley's. He has a 37-30 record in the career with a 4.25 ERA. The next guy is Jarlin Garcia, who appeared in the majors for the first time last season, pitching 53.1 innings, went with a 1-2 record with a 4.73 ERA. So that's basically it. And then we got Adam Conley, who has been with Miami since 2015. In 2015, he went 4-1 with a 3.76 ERA. 2016, he went 8 and 6 with us with a 3.85 ERA, and then last year completely struggled 8 and 8 with a 6.14 ERA, and he also has a career ERA of 4.60. So we head to the pen. Oder Rosmer does pain. He's played with, I believe, two teams over the course of his career. 2014, San Diego, 4 and 7 with a 3.36 ERA. 2015, 5-9 with a 5.80 ERA. Last year, or 2016, he switched teams, so he went 0-2 with a 5.93 ERA. 2017, with us, I think this might have been his first full year with us, I believe, but in 58.1 innings, he pitched a 4.01 ERA with a 2-3 record. So, Despain can, he's going to be long, long, long leave, but Despain, Despain can, can reduce, we might be able to ship him off at the deadline. The next guy we got is Tervion Guerrero. 2016, he pitched two innings with San Diego and had a 4.5 ERA. And then he obviously he is here up in up in Miami. Then we got Silvano Bracco, who in 2015 pitched with Arizona. He had one save in Arizona with a 1.46 ERA in 12 innings. Um, 2016, he went 0-2 with a 7.30 ERA. Then 2017, he pitched a 5.66 ERA. Hasn't really got in full MLB time, but he should be able to this year, and hopefully he can keep his numbers down as he has a 5.46 ERA. Hopefully he can also get his first career win. Next I've got is Javi Guerrero, who's been in and out of the MLB throughout his career. 2011, he spent 2011 to 2013 with LAD. So 2011, he pitched a 2-2 two two record with a 2.31 ERA. 2012, he went 2-3 with a 2.60 ERA. 2013, he got lit up with the 6.75 ERA, no decision. Then he spent 2014 and 15 with the Chicago White Sox. So in 2014, he pitched a 2-4 and four record with a 2.91 ERA, so he lowered that back down. And then he only pitched in 1.2 innings with Chicago in 2015 with the 0, 0.00 ERA. So then he spent 2016 with the Los Angeles Angels pitching in 6.1 innings with a 5.68 ERA. Then last year, he pitched 21 innings with in his first year with Miami. He went 1-1 one one with a 3.00 ERA, so hopefully he can do what he did back in 2011, 2012, 2014, and last year. So he has a 2.99 career ERA. 
The next I've got is Drew Steckenrider, who spent his first season in the MLB last year, appeared in 37 games. He has a 1-1 record in the in his MLB career with a 2.34 ERA, so if he can keep it low, that's going to be great, as he is hopefully going to produce this season and grow also. Next I've got is Nick Whittinger, who is also young, young as well, going to progress. Miami... 2016, he made his MLB debut, I do believe, yep. He went 4-3 and three with a 3.14 ERA. 2017 with Miami, he went 3-1 and one with a 4.68 ERA, and then hopefully he can produce what he did back 2016, rather, to 2017 with a 3.83 career ERA. Then the next guy is our closer, Kyle Baraclog. 2015 made his MLB debut. 2 and 1 record in 2015 with a 2.59 ERA. Last uh, 2016 actually, 6 and 3 with a 2.85, and then 2017 2 and 6 with a 3.00 ERA. So he has a 2.87 career ERA with only one save, but hopefully, and hopefully he will clear that more this year. And he will also potentially be a deadline trade. So first, updating our trade block based off of what we did dig over. One guy who I want to add to, add to trade block, Wee Chen, as well as Dan Straley. Um, Yarlin Garcia, no, and then Adam Conley, yes. That's that's just it for right now. Then if we head to the relief pitcher wise for who I want to add, Stecken Rider's fine, Whittinger's fine, Terrion Guerrero's fine there, and then I don't think anyone. We're gonna keep. I'll add Javi Garcia and Despain for now, but I don't think anyone else is gonna actually. And I'll add Brocco as well, but I don't know if anyone is gonna want them. And then closer Kyle Bearclaw just to start off off for the pitching wise. So we will head hitting. So our leadoff man is third baseman Martin Prado, who has played in the MLB for too long. So we're not going to read all of his stats. We'll just lead. We'll just read his last year's stats with Miami. He played in 37 games, appeared 140 at bats, two home runs, 12 RBIs, batted 250. Um, he has hit 97 home runs over the course of his career, 576 RBIs, and he's batted a career average of 291. So a pretty good leadoff man there. Next guy is Miguel Rojas, who in 2014, he appeared in 85 games, hit one home run, nine out of guys, batted 181. 2015 with Miami, he went to .282 average with one home run. His career high in home runs is one. Career high RBI total is 26, and his career high batting average is 290. His career batting average in, in total, though, is 256, so hopefully he can... You're up there, Justin Bohr has been an amazing player over, over the course of his career. He's appeared in 366 games. He's hit 64 home runs, 218 RBIs, and has batted a career average of 273. So if he can produce this year, that'd be great. Next guy we got is Oswaldo Arcia, who spent his basically his entire career with Minnesota for 2016, where he switched teams. He has a career home run total of 44. He's appeared in 288 games to start off, but career, career home run total of 44. RBI is 131, and he also has a career batting average of 235. But if he can produce with this extreme power against the righties, that would be very, very lovely. The next guy is potentially the best catcher in the game, JT Realmuto. He has batted 38 home runs over the course of his career, 169 RBIs, along with a 280 batting average. So if he can produce this year, could even be a deadline move, along with this guy right here, Starlin Castro. Obviously, it got Castro in the uh, John Carlos Stanton deal this offseason. He has produced 99 home runs over the course of his career, along with 496 RBIs and a career batting average of uh, .282. So if Castro can produce, he could also be a deadline move. Another guy is Derek Dietrich. Over the course of his career, he's appeared in 459 games, has hit 44 home runs, along with 159 RBIs and batted .250. The next guy we got is Garrett Cooper, who... Played with the Yankees last year. Um, uh, got him in the John Carlos Stanton deal, I do believe, as well. Um, he appeared in 13 games last year. Didn't hit a home run, but did get six RBIs and batted 326. So he's going to take over as a starting right fielder. And then the last guy we got starter wise is Lewis Brinson. Got him in the Christian Yelich deal. I do believe Lewis Brinson, two home runs, three RBIs, batted 106 last year in 21 games for for Milwaukee. Um, then we will head to our bench. So starting off is the backup catcher in Brian Holiday. He spent 
basically his entire career with Detroit, he has been his entire career with Detroit, he has hit five home runs, 46 RBIs, and has batted 244, so he's not, he's a pretty good bench catcher, um, if we didn't have Real Muto, he probably would be the starter. Next guy we got is Rafael Ortega, who has been in and out of his, who has been in and out of the MLB, 2012, and then he was in the minors for 13, 14, and 15, appeared in 2016, and then did not play in 2017, was probably in the minors, and then he's, he's back in the MLB roster. He has one career home run along with 16 RBIs and has a 2.38 batting average. The next guy we got is Eric Campbell, who was in the minors all last season, played with the Mets from 14 to 16 on their big league roster. He has batted 15 home runs, 64 RBIs, and 271 batting average in 287 career games. Then the last guy on our bench we got is Yadiel Rivera, who I believe we might have got in the Milwaukee trade as well, where we signed him. But either way, he's appeared in 43 games over the course of his career and only has hit three RBIs with a career batting average of 183. He's going to be a bench. The good thing about it is Eric Campbell's main is second base, but he can also, he can also play first base, third base, and both outfields. Yadiel Rivera can, can play shortstop, Ortega can play both outfields, and then Holiday can play the catcher position. So it automatically fits. And now I do just want to fix all of our scouts. Um, I'm fine with this guy because he's a really good position player. I want a same with this guy. I want to go out and get a good pitching one. Yeah, fire him. There we go. You're fine there. And let's go and get another guy with great pitching. Fine. Varner for Moya, right? Yeah, there we go. And then scouting, do we put it? Did we put it on auto? Yeah. All right, cool. So I guess that we should probably check out the uh, not really the farm, but we should check out. Hang on, first one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One. Two, three, four, five. Class A. Yeah, well, we'll check out the farm in just a moment as well once I get all these guys into Class A. If you're just tuning into the stream, welcome to the stream. I right, we're going to keep Bronco Dust in. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Then we'll send him down to double A. One, two, three, four. All right, cool. So just need one more double A player, and then we should be good. We'll just move you up to double A. There we go. So now taking a look at the farm. Caleb Smith, we got him in the in the John Carlos Stanton deal, I do believe. 26 years old, 67 B pot. So Caleb Smith hopefully is going to grow. Uh, he's a little bit on the older side, though. The next guy we got is Sandy Alessandra, 22 years old, 84 pot. I believe that we got him in the Az Azuna deal. Then we also got Trevor Richards down there. Uh, Mirandi Gonzalez, Pablo Lopez, Chris O'Grady, Zach. Uh, Braxton Garrett, Jorge Guzman, Cody Pottet, Dylan Peters, Brett Graves, Nick Nieder, Trevor Rogers, as are basically only a pot, I do believe, when it comes to pitching, and he is only 90, he's so low, but hopefully these guys can progress, and then pen-wise for the future, we got Alicia Hernandez, who should be a good future relief pitcher for us as well. Then we also got Tyler Kinley to grow. Who else do we got? Ed Edward Cabrera and Ben Meyer. No no future closers, so we could probably use one of those. We do have Chad Wallach there. He's a little bit on the older side, though, at 26. First base, no one really. Second base, we got Asan Diaz, who is an 81 pot, so hopefully... And he is only 21, so hopefully he can grow. Uh, no, th no future third base. We got JT Riddell for the future shortstop position. Could even take over that spot next season. 
no future left fielders, although our center fielder, our center field future is stacked. Lewis Brinson, Braxton Lee, Monte Harrison, and Mangeria Seria. That right fielder we also do have for the future, and Brian Anderson. So I guess we should just start simming. We'll sim to uh, May 3rd. So that way we can see how our stats are looking like. And right now we're actually like competing, sort of, I guess. Alright, so we are 1370, which is actually a little bit of a surprise to me. We're tied for first, basic. So that's how we're tied for first. Now we're two and a half games back. Yeah, we are two. We're two and a half games back from first, so not even that bad. I was going to say we're not tied, but not like bad. Don Manningly is our GM. Or, our, yeah, our coach. Right, so we take a look. So the first month, like I said, what I am really want to, f what, what I do really want to focus on is our ERA wise. So Henderson Alvarez Jane went to 5.13 ERA. Chin 2 and 2 with a 6.19. Shirley with a 5.97. Yarlin Garcia with a 4.15. And then Conley with a 3.94. Despain 5.16. Bronco is getting lit up. Guerrero with a 1.53. Second rider with a 6.3. And then Kyle Baraclock is getting lit up by nine saves for Baraclock. One thing that I do want to do is before Baraclock completely goes down, I want to find prospects for him. Duffering, CJ Chatham. Don't really need. How about the Yankees? No. Jesus Sanchez. He actually should be. If we were to do the A pot, Sanchez. I mean, if we were to do. The pot, pot adjustment Sanchez would would have been an A pot, but I didn't do the upgrade, so. I'm a big fan of Tyler J, so I may do that. Jefferson Mahia, I know. I'm a big fan of Taylor J, though, so maybe... I want to do to right save. Tristan Lutz probably, right? Or cash flow, I mean. You know what I mean. Uh. Alright. Now the thing that I do want to see. Where was it now? It was the Taylor J. Do I say? Alright, yeah. So we'll go and do the ta Taylor J. So, bye bye, Bear Clock, sadly. And then we'll call up. Should we call up Hernandez? Not yet. We'll call up this guy to the MLB. Move Taylor J up to AAA. And then I do have to just go and send down one more. Actually, we'll send you down to AA. Send you down to AAA because Brocco, you're completely struggling this year. There we go. Alright, cool. Lineup wise, our lineup's producing, which is actually like really I think Prado just got a career high in home runs right now. Miguel Rojas did not so far. So, although RC is doing pretty well, if I do say so myself, JT Romito, I wouldn't mind shipping off while its value is high. And he's not on my trading block, is he? Romito, players that I do want on the trade block. Basically, every single starter. Just go and view. Ooh, they're trading Kevin Kermeyer. I wouldn't mind bringing Kermeyer. What would Kermeyer cost for MLB ready? Romuto, Bohr, and Castro. Screw out of here. Um, will cost for prospects. They're not offering. How about a new MLB ready? Romuto, Bohr, and Castro for Kermeyer. 
our future outfield is fine. I'm fine with that. What would Ben Attendee cost for MLB Ready? What did they say that I'd, that we'd not have enough for that? Uh, any like prospects, sort of? Yes, there was one I liked. I'm just gonna go to Chicago. Carlos Rondon. So we can give him Star Starling Castro for Carlos Rondon straight up. I'm going to edit it because I feel I might be able to get a little bit more from it. Yeah, I can get Dane... Dane Dunning too. Can I get James Shield? No. So Carlos Rondon and Dane Dunning for Starling Castro. Instead of Dane Dunning, can I get a future second base? You guys have one? No, you don't. All right. I'll find with Dane Dunning then. So Dunning and Rondon for Starling Castro, and Castro's not doing as good as I wanted to. So you know what? I'll do that. So first things first now, who's going to get to Conley is doing great. So I think I'm going to send down Dan Straley. And we can roll with that. Rondon's doing okay. Yeah, we'll send down Straley and then we'll go with Alvarez, Chin, Rondon, Garcia, and Conley. Because I have to call up another second baseman. Actually, I do have to call up another league player though. Should I call up Riddell? Yeah. Welcome to the show, kid. JT Riddell. Then I do have to send down a uh, double A player, so we'll just send down you know, to Class A. There we go. Oh, crap. I need a new closer. Here's the highest clutch 65, 62, 36. So it looks like Winninger, you're our new closer, buddy. And second rider, who has the high, who has the second highest clutch? Fifty-four, fifty-four, fifty-two, six. Javi, you you can go in there. All right, cool. Del Pazo was killing it in double A ball. That's what we called him. All right, cool. Looking. Looking swell, and then we do need do just need another second base. Should we roll with Riddell, or should we go with Campbell or Rivera? We should probably roll with Yadiel Rivera. He can only play two positions too, so he can play second base. And then yeah, that one works. And we're gonna bat him last. We'll go like we'll do this lineup here. Yeah, I'll move everyone up. Amuto's gonna stay for right now. Amuto's definitely probably gonna be a trade deadline asset, and we'll sim to June fourth. I'll release the players I do want. Potential, we'll go and sort that by the depots. Release you. And then we'll sort it by overall, and then we'll, we'll release Cespedes. Sus there we go. So Cubs got Garrett Cole for Addison Russell and Albert Amora Jr. Him to this date as well, but take a look at the completed transactions based off of like trades first. So, all the trades that have happened so far, this actually was quite a little. So, Red Sox got Guerrero for Wit, Thing Bid, White Sox got Gardner for Omar Navarez, the Yankees got Hamill for Torres, Yankees got Gomez for Albert Abreu. Anything like big. Villanueva for right, and then obviously that was, and then obviously we got our two trades. Cubs got Cole for Ant Addison Russell. We know that Astros got Warren for Randy Cesar. That's kind of big, I guess. Colin McHugh for Trevor Stapen, and then Zobris for Omar Navas. All right, cool. 
So I think that big, taking a look at pitching rotation wise, Henderson Alvarez is doing okay. 5 and 4 records of 4.48 ERA. Chin is doing okay as well with 5.37. Carlos Rondon is doing really well with the 4.23, 4.80, and then Conley is still doing really, really well. Despreen is doing eh, Guerrero is doing eh, Cla Cloyd got lit up, Paso is doing eh, Stecken Rider is doing eh. Guerrero is doing pretty good, and Whittinger is doing good. How's his catcher doing? I mean, saves wise. He's doing good as a closer, alright. Alright, doing pretty good hitting wise. RCO with 13 bombs. Dietrich with 9. Thing like big, not really. How's Straley doing? Straley is struggling in the minors as well, but it's not really that big to look at. I saw Hernandez is doing okay. I think that we... Do you have anyone who's really, like, killing it in triple-A ball? Brocco again? We'll send down Cloyd. We'll call up Brocco. See if he can produce for us as well. You're the trading block. Anyone else that... Julio Terran. Anyone who's, like, really young? Michael Waka. Conley, Ramudo, and Boer for Waka. Wouldn't be that bad, but no. I think it's time, though, we get what we can. So, Justin Boer, you are sadly probably going to be traded here um, for our prospect. Nothing I really like there. I do like Lynn a lot, but Domingo Acevedo. A Pearson might be the move too. Brandon Finnegan for Boar, actually. I'll do that. It's going to be deadline early here. I think they're offering Dylan Tate. I can really get some good value for. I'd rather wait before Yin, like, does good, so. JT Romuto. I want Romuto on the move as well. This made it hard for me. I like the Indians one. Ooh, I like this one a lot. Ooh. Alright, the Tigers one leads me now. Tigers one. Tigers one still. Tigers still. Tigers still. Ooh, Cardinals. Cardinals de definitely have this one. Unless there's like an A-pod involved, but... Unless there's an A-pod somewhere. But no, the Cardinals. 
Cardinals won, won the sweepstakes. Congrats. Tavalia, Jordan Hicks, and Dakota Hudson. All basic lamb will be ready. So who's been our best catcher in the minors? You're going to get called up to the MLB today. So our starting catcher... What position is this? First base? Or Campbell can be our starting first base unless we have a better one here. Oh no, Garrett Cooper. Right. I said now we do, do need a starting third base, eh? No, starting third base. He's a third base, right? Yeah. All right, cool. So let's go and redo our lineup now. So we got Rojas there, and then batting second, who can be our second leadoff man? Who's batting pretty solid? There's like no one here. Garrett Cooper can be our second leadoff man. Our third batter, Arcia. Fourth, Derek Dietrich. is Chen, Shirley, and Conley still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to send down Baraco. We'll send down Pozo as well. And then we'll roll with one, two, three, four, five, six, Welcome to the show, kid. Tavilla's our actual closer, so. There we go. Now let's see where we are at the beginning of June 1st or July 1st. We have to cut two players, so we'll go to first. We'll do it by potential. <laughs> now we'll see it by overall, so bye bye you. Bye bye you. There we should not be on auto. I don't know what happened there, but oh well. Um, oh, yes! We got an amazing future there. We got a 99 pot, 19 year old, 62 overall, Lexi Royce. We got Frank Kim, a beautiful shortstop from Alabama. Royce from, is from the Dominican Republic. Then we got Jamie Summers there as well. And then anyone else who I want to sign? Oja, and then anyone else? No. Any big trades? Joe Smith there. And then... Alright, cool. Hey! What's up, Revy? This is my sim all series with uh, Miami.
basically a chiz, but I don't play any games. We're going to see how long it takes to rebuild this team. So, here we go. Henderson Alvarez, what a signing he's actually been. He's improved a lot. 8-6, and 3.31 ERA in order to have a winning record. That's good. And the fact that he's keeping his ERA at a decent level is really, really good. I feel, I feel. I'm surprised you're even up. It's only like, what, 11.30? Then the next guy I've got is Wee and Shin, who's luckily heating up. So he definitely, we can definitely move him at the deadline. 4-4 four and four record, 3.90 ERA. Next guy we got is Carlos Rondin. 4-7 and seven with the 4.91 ERA. Uh, we got him, obviously, in what deal was it? Why can't I find it all of a sudden? Not the Braves. Yeah, we got him in the uh, Sterling Castro deal. We gave up Castro. Ah, oh, your internet stopped working. That's a big rip. So yeah, um, blah blah blah. Which one is this now? Pitching rotation. Yarlin Garcia, two and nine with a 5.01 ERA. He's completely struggled. And then Adam Conley, one and seven with a 4.59 ERA. I'm gonna try to move him for just like a B. Then you got Des Payne there, Guerrero there, Javi Guerrero, absolutely doing well. Surprisingly, could even be a deadline move as well. Depends. What's his potential? Yeah, he could be a deadline move. Second rider doing okay. Winninger doing good. And then Sam Tavila with five saves coming in. Winninger has, what, still eight saves? Yeah. Alright, cool. So, we'll sim to, like, the home run derby, I guess. We're not going to play it, though. The Cardinals are offering me a trade for Lewis Brinson. and Tyler O'Neill for Lewis Brinson. It's basically just a swap. And we get younger, but I don't want to do that. I'd rather keep Lewis Brinson. Lewis Brinson for Tyler O'Neill and Delvin Perez. Still, I'd rather keep Lewis Brinson. The Reds get... <laughs> Sean Manaya for Billy Hamilton and Anthony Tashafalani. So, Manaya is now a red for Hamilton and Shafalani. <laughs> now, we're going to skip the home run derby. We're going to skip that. So, we won. Or the NL won the All-Star game. I have no idea who. I don't really want to sign any of these guys, so I'm not really going to be worried about that. But, where did we get? How did we get Brandon Finnegan? Why can't I remember a Brandon Finnegan deal? There's no big trades. I mean, Castellanos there. Obviously, you got the Sean Manaya one. How do we get Brandon Finnegan, huh? Yankees. The Yankees got Finnegan. Oh, wait, no. We we traded Boer. That's right. We traded Boer. I couldn't remember. All right. Now, since we are... We're not really at deadline time, but we are getting close. They want Luis Brinson, Garcia, and Stecken Rider for Ben Attendee. That's interesting. Alright, uh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to give up, um, I don't want to give up Brinson. I need Victor Caterani. How's he doing this year for Chicago? One home run, 10 RBIs, batting 301. Be a starting catcher. What would he actually cost? What would he cost for MLB ready? Oh my god. Because Dan Straley's starting to heat up, so. Get rid of him, get rid of Conley. And then... 
this guy pitching with like a 1.00. You alright? Where the hell is Mr. 1.00? You alright? How's Arcia doing? He's absolutely cooking right now. Get off Arcia. Give up. Yeah, no, so Straley, Conley, I wouldn't mind giving up a lower of our starting pitchers. Pablo Lopez. Uh, Victor Caterini is not really worth it in my opinion. Um, hang on just one moment. There we go. Alright, anyone who I really, really want, Julio Terran's completely struggling. Uh, no, nah, I don't want Terran. Josh Harris, I'm surprised he hasn't been, been traded. He usually gets traded in like the first two weeks of like Sim Malls. Anyone here that I want to go after? Hermes Garcia, yo. I'm gonna assume that you're Nair because I don't know. So what's up, Nair? If that is you. Uh, anyone who I do want? Uh, nah, 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 not really. Is Mario Petit doesn't fit because we're rebuilding. Yeah, all right. There's no one. Um. So. Um, this is a sim all, and I don't know yet. I it's obviously a rebuild, so I'm not really going after anyone right now. All right, today's the trade deadline. Perfect. So the deadline. Just want to take a look. We should just take a look at our rotation quickly. Henderson Alvarez, eleven and six with three point two two ERA right, with the one point oh nine WHIP. His His walk per nine. His walk per nine isn't eighty four. That's honestly not even that bad. So Henderson Alvarez is doing actually really really good. We and Chin's getting dealt today because he's heating up. Um, there there's no there's no use for for him on the team. So we and Chin is getting dealt today. We're making some moves today. Carlos Rondon four times a five point two one. He is. He's going to get better, though, and he's going to remain with us for, hopefully, a long, long time. Then we got Jarling Garcia, 2-9 and nine with a 5.19 ERA. Pfft, what has happened to him? And then Adam Conley's going to get dealt today somehow, some way. I'm just going to dump him off. 2-10 and 10 with a 4.71. Des Payne's hopefully going to get dealt today. Yeah, no, I'm going to... Nah... Who I'm gonna I'm, I want to keep Rodney because he's just gonna produce. Chin's gonna go. Garcia's gonna stay, and then Conley is gonna go as well. So Conley and Chen are gonna be our pitchers that are getting dealt today. Um, Des Payne is probably gonna get dealt today as well. Guerrero's gonna stay because he has a future with us. If if I was competing. I would trade the low, uh, the walk per nine, obviously, for for better ones. But we're not competing right now, so I'm not gonna go it. Javi Guerrero is probably gonna get traded. He's four and with a three point ten ERA. He doesn't really have a place for the future. Uh, then we got Jordan Hicks with five point two two ERA. Uh, he's gonna progress, hopefully. He should progress. 
I don't know why he is in the majors, but he is. Okay. Do second rider is going to get dealt to. Actually, no, he's not. Second rider and Winninger is going to stay. 3.00 ERA. Second rider with a 5.06. And then Sam Tavila, we obviously got. He's going to stay as well. He's working with 11 saves on the air. Lineup, Rojas might get traded. Cooper is going to stay. As well, the RC is going to stay. He's freaking cooking. 22 bombs, 74 RBIs. Derek Dietrich is going to go. Brian Holiday is probably going to stay. I don't think anyone's going to really want him. Lewis Brinson is going to stay. Eric Campbell's probably going to stay. Most of these guys are going to stay because I don't know who, who's even going to want him. So, being that it is deadline today, first to trade block, can we pull something off for Benintendi? They want second rider Garcia and Brinson. That's not happening. So, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to pull off a Benintendi trade. So then now, let's just go and do the trades that I said. First off, Wee and Chin, he's starting to heat up. Let's get some good prospects for him. Cedric Mullins, eh. Scott and Hannafrey, eh. And then three C's. Uh, I want to look at everything before we do. Dalton Pompey is interesting. What team is Solar on? Yu, Yu Cheng from the Indians. That's actually interesting because he's basically MLB ready and he's only 22. So, Chang right now is probably my favorite. Actually, Jake Rogers now, maybe. Right now, right now, Detroit's actually my, my favorite offer in Jake Rogers. Alright, so you want me to go after Solar. Alright. Where's Kansas City? Here's Kansas City. Solar's outfield, correct? Jorge Solar. What's his stats looking like? 2148.295. What would it cost for him? Caleb Smith's not going anywhere, so he went to Vula and Winninger, so we're not going to do that. How about prospects, though? They want Trevor Rogers, Monte Harrison, or Roy Merrillis. That's not happening, nor is Braxton Lee going to happen. So, we and Chin, you're going to go on the board there. Dan Sterling's starting to cook as well in the minors. So we'll go Chin, Conley, who can I give up, alright, what position of, of need for the future do they need, I mean, they're the Royals, they basically need, need everything, but they could use some depth starting pitching, as hell, should we just give up three star, but they could actually use another outfielder. Brian Anderson, fuck out of here. You ain't going anywhere. Connor Scott, no. Nair, who should I dip for Solar? Who should I give for Solar? Derek Dietrich, would they do that? No. JT Riddell? No. Who should I dip for Solar? Crap. Jarlin Garcia. Uh, 25. I mean, I could, but I'd rather not. I wish, I wish you could do more than just, like, three three players in one trade. Who has the more trade value? Do they have the same amount? Dip off Brandon Finnegan, maybe. Take off Jarlin. What about Conley? You know? Can dip off Brandon Finnegan, maybe. I'm gonna make this work. They want Smith, Tilvala, and Whittinger. I'm fine with giving up Smith. I'm fine with giving up Caleb Smith. And I'm fine with giving up Chin as well. What prospect can make this work that I'm willing to give up? Mandaria Sierra. I'm perfectly fine with that too. I'm fine with giving up. Nigeria Sierra. So Caleb Smith, I'm fine with giving up. When it comes to starting pitching prospect, I'm fine because he's he's on the older side. Chin, 
is completely struggling as a starter. I mean, 6 and 7 with a 3.74, so I'm fine with giving up Chen. Even though his walk per 9 is very high, but it's going down, he's 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 going to regress. He doesn't fit the system. And number 2, Jorge Solar is absolutely killing it. And I could use outfield too. So Chen, Caleb Swift, and Mangeria Sierra. I'm fine with that. So we got Solar. There we go. Uh, just let me know before we do more trades. I do want I do want to work up. I do want to fit it fit our rotation back in. So we got that. So then one, two, three, four, five. So J Dan Shirley makes his return to the MLB. As we'll go with that, that, and then that. Now the next guy who is going to be for trade is probably Adam Conley. I'm probably going to ship off here. Yeah. Let's see. What what can we get for Adam Conley? Before we give up Adam Conley, let me just go and fix up our lineup now. So we brought in Jorge Solar. You're going to get put in for our camp, oh buddy. Uh, Solar can bat 4th, 5th. You're going to bat there. You know, you're going to bat there. Holiday, you're, you're going to bat last. Rojas and then Cooper there is fine, as well as Orsia there. Jorge Solar. Coda Glover. I'll check out his stats first. I'm not. I'm not really a big fan of Glover, but like, yeah. Oh crap! Just taking a look, cause I forgot a lot of trades happened. Is, is there anything like big, big, big that happened? Matt, Matt's got Matt Shoemaker. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Any like big, big trades that happened in the past like week? Not really too big, I guess. Except for the Tommy Fan one for Nick Gordon and that. But then I think Nick Gordon. Nick Gordon got traded again, correct? No, they didn't. Twins got Joey Gallo. Alright. This is deadline trade, so we'll go after we'll go over all the deadline trades that happened um right after we finish that. So uh first off, just let me make sure Oh yeah, by the way, we got a uh, ninety nine overall clo closing pitcher in Alexi Roya, so that's lit. Um Who is it again? Nationals. Oh, Coda Glover's in the minors. One and one to three point zero zero ERA in the minors. I could use that actually. Has he spent time in the MLB? Yes, he has. That's perfect. Yes, he has. So I can play him right away in the MLB. Where's the Nationals? I passed. I passed the Nationals. Actually, there's one guy I want to go after first here. They don't want anyone for Jeff Samaya. All right. Here's the Nationals. Where's the house Coda Glover? They want T. Laval and Brandon Finnegan. That's going to be a no-no for me. I'm sorry. But... Did I just do prospects? I want Finnegan, Monte Harrison, and San Diaz. I don't mind doing that. Sort of. I don't know. And we'll be ready. They want T. Laval and Jordan Hicks. I can't give up... I can't give up T. Laval. Um, he's absolutely killing it for me right now. So I can't give up Tila Bala, but I can give up JT Riddell and Garrett Cooper if you'd like. Actually, do you want Garrett Garrett Cooper? So I'll give up JT Riddell because I don't have that. Because I, I think that we, before actually I do that, sign draftees. Yeah, we got Frank Kim, so I can give up JT Riddell. I don't care about that. Uh, shortstop. JT Riddell, I don't mind giving up. And then, so let me go back to the Nationals now. I'm fine with giving up JT Riddell. Do I want to give up Garrett Cooper, though? Yeah, I do. He's on the older side. Actually, no, I don't. I Right now, I don't want to. Maybe future, yes. But right now, no. Javi Guerrero's could even be in the steal as well. And then I'll just give up a starting pitcher in it. Dane Dunning, they won't. Which one of my starters will, will they take if I were to toss in? Nick Nieder? No. They'll take Braxton Garrett. So Riddell, Guerrero, and Braxton Garrett. Just before 
I throw in Braxton Garrett. He has high potential, so probably not. What Jorge Guzman has good trade value. So like, what's his potential? 80. If they want Jorge Guzman. All right, so it was Riddell, Javi Guerrero, who's doing actually pretty good, and then it was a starting pitcher. I want to see if they'll do Pablo Lopez, because he actually, or no, it was Jorge Guzman. I want to see, because he has like good, good trade value. Yeah, I went like completely up. They won't do that. Are you actually serious? It's even. It's like literally even. Right, before I give up Pablo Lopez, what's his potential? I'll give up Lopez depending on what his potential is. 84. I have no problem. Ah. What's Glovers? What's Code of Glovers? Alright, yeah, I have no problem doing that then. I have no problem doing that if he's in 87 potties, basically, I'm gonna be ready. So Glover for Javi Guerrero, JT Riddell, and Pablo Lopez. I'm fine with that. There we go. So we got Glover now. Pull the trigger on that. And Coda Glover, you're going to start right away in the MLB. We'll roll with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7 for our pen. Yeah, Coda, you're going to go straight into the MLB, buddy. And your clutch might even actually even be high enough to be our setup, right? What's Wittingers? Wittingers is a 66, second round is 63, so sadly you're not actually going to be a setup man, but you'll be in there. Who else should I go after in there? Um, first, that's right, I want to ship off Adam Conley. I want to get rid of Adam Conley for literally anything I can. I'll, just, I'll literally just take a prospect for Adam Conley. <laughs> no, since Conley actually has some trade value, I can actually do something for him. <laughs> Harvey for hat. Ah, uh, Conley for hat. No. Oh, I saw. I saw the B pod. I didn't see. I see that it was friggin' Jason Hamill. Thank God, I didn't realize. Ooh, Domingo Acevedo. What's Acevedo pitching in the mi in the minors right now? He's a little bit on the older side, but I don't mind that. Ooh, how's Domingo Herman a C? He's a B in KTL, so I don't know how how he's a C, but whatever. Domingo Herman's killing it in Triple A ball. Domingo Herman's absolutely killing it in Triple A ball. So we'll go Conley or friggin' where's he shit? Then we go out Sabato and then I have to give up. Just like I'll give just like one more C. Uh crap they can't do it because it's budget, can they? Zach Gallon they can do though. So Conley and Gallon for Acevedo. Deal. Sign me up. I'll be right back as well. Then we'll, I'll be right back and then we can get into more of the deadline.
Okay, what is up, man? I'm back. Uh, so... Go get... Cunius? Okay, he's a Kansas City Royal. Actually, one guy I do want to check in on. Dylan Bundy. Hmm. Alright, cool. But no, no, no. Uh, do, 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 do. where is he? Jake Junis. Jake Junis, how's he doing? 2.870 array. They want Trevor Ro I'm fine with that, honestly. I'm actually completely fine with that trade. Do you think I should do it, Nair? I'm kind of fine with giving... Crap. It was Rodgers and two C's. It was Rodgers and two C's. They want Jorge Soler back for Eunice. Yeah, so prospects. It was Trevor Rogers. I know it's Rogers. And then it's like two C's, so I'll just throw on that. Oh. And one C? Rogers and one C for Jake Junis, yeah. Rogers it's going to take a while to, to progress. I'm not really worried about that. So we go. Rondin. So we got Rondin. Here. We'll go and do this. And we got that. So we got Rondin, Alvarez, Eunice, Garcia, and Dan Shirley. I'm liking that a lot for this rebuild. Considering we're not going all the way yet. Um, Domingo Acevedo I want. I don't know why he's in the majors. I want Acevedo down. And triple A ball. Where you belong. Then we also got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm fine with that. Blah blah blah, right? Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Alright, so then our lineup's looking fine. Fine with me. I gotta actually I gotta toss in Jorge Solar in both. So it was it was yeah, true. Hang on, just one moment. So, Rojas Cooper. Rojas Cooper. Oswaldo Garcia at the DH spot. Right field, Jorge Solar. Left field, Derek Dietrich. Center field, Lewis Brinson. So then it would be second base, Yadiel Rivera. Then we got third base, Eric Caglio. And then Brian Holiday. And then our bench is fine. Alright, uh, blah, blah, blah. I do like it for right now. I'm fine with Guerrero for right now. I'm fine with Hicks. I'm fine with our pen for right now, honestly. I could probably move Des Payne, which I'm probably going to do now. But before we actually do, I want to check in on the Cincinnati Reds. Show them Nia right now. Obviously, spent half the year in Oakland. Just got traded. 3.34 ERA for Sean and Nia. What's his, his walk per nine is 73. That's actually pretty good. They want Brian Anderson, Trevor Richards, and Hassan Diaz. That's not happening. MLB ready as they want. MLB ready. They want Solar. All right. So I'm gonna have to make this happen manually. I have no problem giving a Harlan Garcia if I'm gonna actually no. I have no problem bringing Harlan Garcia if I'm gonna get Shaman. I don't mind bringing Harlan Garcia. You also don't mind giving up a top 50. Actually, no, I do. Who don't I mind giving up? Jose Arena actually has like big trade value too, but I don't know. I can actually make this happen without giving up an A. I'm fine with giving up Brett Graves as well. Although, actually, instead of Graves, neither. I can actually probably make this happen somehow. It's probably going to be one of the hardest trades to pull off, but I can make it happen. Would they do that? If I take off Nieder then? Dan Straley and Harlan Garcia, I'm fine with that. And then just toss on one of the better starting pitchers. I can make this happen. I can make this happen. Price is right. I can make this happen. 
Anderson, Richards, and Elsa Hernet. They want. That's all I needed. That's all I really needed to know. Why? Touch on Richards. Fine. Take off. Darling Garcia. Actually, no. Garcia is a big part of it. <sighs> Come on. It's so funny how high key I can make this happen, but it just won't go through. Alright, you know what? We don't need... We have Jorge Solar. What is Solar's potential? Solar's an 89 potential. Perfect. Brian Anderson is what? He's on, he's in 93. We still have... We have Lee and Brinson down here, which I'm fine with. Anderson's older, too. So, you know what? Cincinnati. Anderson... From Naya straight up. Which you guys won't do. But. You will do if I throw on. Drilling Garcia. Which I won't do. But. I'll do Yurina. Straley. And Brian Anderson. For Sean Manaya. Thank you. So we got Manaya, Rondon, Alvarez, Jake Eunice. And Jarling Garcia. Perfectly fine with this. But. Manaya, you're obviously going to be the ace buddy. There we go. That's perfect. Uh, bullpen I'm happy with. <laughs> Who do the Braves have for a young pen? T -t 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 Shane Carley. He's doing okay. Mm. There's no one I really like here, to be honest. Yeah, nah. There's no one I really like here, to be honest. It's Jul Julio Terran. For depth pitching. Julio Terran for depth pitching, even though he's not doing that, that too good. They want Alessandra, Harrison, and Hernandez now. We'll be ready, though. They want Stack and Ryder to be on Finnegan. Screw off. Alright. Anyone else who I really want? We call Trevor Richards for Hernandez. All right, so I'm not going to give up Richards, but somehow this guy has like tons of trade value. I don't know how. Somehow he has tons of trade value. Also Hernandez, and then they also wanted that. What, what outfielder was it? I have like no more C's. Oh, Des Payne, do you want Des Payne? No, want Jumbo Diaz? No. Tommy Tellis. Come on, can you guys take like someone for him? Dark Dude Ditcher's cooking. Ah, it looks like this. Looks like this is gonna gonna be the end of deadline day, probably. Connor Scott. Unless Brenton Yunus and Tyler Vila for Ben Attendee screw off. All right. Looks like that might be deadline day for us here. 
unless I do want Victor Caterani, wherever the freak he went. Victor Caterani, yes. I'll give you guys Brian Holiday. Caterani is batting 302. He's basically like a fill in backup, though. Literally no trade value. Yeah. We don't have much more that we can acquire, but we can get rid of Des Payne, who pitched okay. We're probably not even going to get much for him. If no one offers a B, I'll manually offer a B. Offer to be okay, so I'll just manually offer to be. Uh, who's a low B? Come on. All right. Well, that's the end of deadline day then. All right, I don't even know who pitched. Cody Glover got the win for us. All right, cool. Anyway, there's a bunch of DF. There's a bunch of waiver claims. Jesus. Familia, Vasel Garcia, Jubal Cabrera. Anyone? I don't even know if we're going to get most of them, but might as well just put a waiver claim on them. There we go. Doesn't look like many more. Ooh, honestly, McCutcheon. High key on, on a one-year deal just to finish out the year in the outfield. Here we'll sim to like what the third, I guess. Did we get him? Doesn't look like it. Nah, we didn't. Damn. Oh well, not the big of a deal. Alright, we'll just sim to the, basically the, ah, oh. I wanted to, to claim McCutcheon ju just like play out the year, but all good since we didn't get him, it's not that big of a deal. Well, we're trading at the end of the, trading at the end here, so we are now in Oh, we can do September call up soon, but let's see. Is there any big, big trades on deadline day? We're just going to skip past all of these on deadline day. Besides all of our moves. There was anything. <laughs> Alright. Pitching. Rotate. Oh, crap. I completely forgot to look at the All-Star game. Who made the All-Star game for us? Cur Alright. So, Kershaw, Hamels, Grindke, Martinez, and Ro Robbie Ray. I, f I forgot to do this. Kerbin Boynes was the only relief pitcher. And then you got Doolittle, Jansen, Iglesias, Velasco, Davis, and Yates. Catcher-wise, no one. First base, no one. Second base, no one for us. Miguel Rojas for us made the All Star game. That's great. A sixty eight a sixty nine D made the All Star game. That's freaking great. Anyone else for us? No, I didn't think so. Your American leading up for Lando Sale Berrios. Clue Ren Rodriguez, Green and Matt Moore. Nothing big there. 
Is there anyone that I traded that made? Rob Ref Snyder made it. Okay. Shall we just sim two September call? I don't even know if I want to do September call ups, but first, fishing rotation, Manaya 79 with a 3.83 ERA. Carlos Rondon, 6 and 12 with a 5.01. Henderson Alvarez, 11 and 9 with a 3.84. Jake Junis, 13 and 7 with a 2.78. And then Yarling Garcia, 3 and 15 with a 5.67. Des Payne's doing okay with a 4.82. Tehran Guerrero with a 5.67. Cody Globe with a 5.87. As well, he's gonna pro progress, so, so I'm happy with that. Jordan Hicks with a 4.40, Drew Stackenbach with a 6.25, Winninger with a 4.03, and then Sam Tiviala with the 3.74. How many saves does he have? 16 saves. Go Rojas, obviously our all-star there. Garrett Cooper is doing pretty good as well. The RC is killing it. Jorge Soler is still killing it as well. Dirk Dietrich there. Lewis Brinson, Yadiel Rivera, Eric Huglio. Brian Holiday sucks. Tommy Tellis there is doing it. Eh. Take a Eric Campbell is doing good. He can play third base. All right, cool. This is doing okay. We're doing okay. For, we'll sim two September call ups. So you can call up eight players. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is call up. I'm gonna call up one player per position, probably. So the first player here that I'm gonna call up is Brandon Finnegan. He spent some time in the in the MLB. Let's see if he can be what he can be. So well, wel welcome to the show, Brandon, Brandon Finnegan. Same thing with Domingo Acevedo. He's apparently called up. We have too many guys called up that I don't want. So first, hang on. Del Pazzo, you're down. I don't want you up here. Same thing with you, Tyler Cloyd. We have too many guys called up now. Same thing with you, Brocco. Back off here, buddy. And then Alyssa Al Hernandez, you were killing it in the minors, so you can... You, you can stay up. Just want to make sure our pitching rotation now. Finnegan and Domingo Acevedo, you guys are okay getting called up here. Um, Des Payne, Terion Guerrero. I'm okay with everyone who, who got called up for September call-ups here. And then the bench, the bench, I can probably do a little bit more as well. Um... Should we call up Roy Merrillis? Yeah, let's call up Merrillis here. Put him on the bench. We're not going to use all 40 spots. Uh, send down this guy. We'll call up Braxton Lee for September call-ups. Welcome to the show, kid. We'll also call up I think that might actually be it with who I actually really do want to call up here. Uh, you know what? Let's call up one one more of our pitcher. Should we call up top prospect, Mirandy Gonzalez? Top 50 prospect? Uh, no, he's struggling in triple-A ball. Uh, we'll call up Sandy Alessandro and let him roll pen-wise. There we go. I'm happy with what we got now. Alright. What? What do you mean, no? It's just September call-ups. Get to see what they can do. For actually, first I do gotta... I just wanna go and sign on a, another starter, so... It's a street. It's just September call-ups, and so I am gonna do anything. Just to give me some depth, Hudson Street. He comes cheap too, so. Uh, now we'll just call up Hudson Street. 
and he's already called up. We'll just let him roll pen as well. There we go. Alright, I'm happy. We'll sim the rest of this season. And then we'll see what everyone's looking like based off the overalls. Alright, so the season's done. We get to check out our stats for year one. Sean Mania finished 9 and 12 with a 3.41 ERA. That will now give him a total of 28 wins and 31 losses, along with a career 3.83 ERA. Um, only a bad loss because we, he probably had no run, no run support. He's probably the Jacob DeGrom getting no run support, which is fine. Because when we actually have a lineup, he'll be good. Same thing with, with Carlos Rondon, 6 and 17. He needs to keep that ERA down, though, at 5.37. Not that uh but six wins though, not that bad. Henderson Alvarez, 11 and 11 with a 4.24. Um, definitely, definitely need him to be better with the ERA wise. But if we, but like I said, if if we have more more run support, these wins are at least higher, and the ERA potentially down a little bit more. But anyway, Jake June is 15 and nine with a 2.87 ERA, so definitely our best pitcher this season. As I will give him 24 wins and 20 and 12 losses on the year with a 3.36 ERA on his career. Henderson Alvarez now now is 38 and 46. Carlos Rondon's now 26 and 38. And then Jarlin Garcia 4 and 18 with a 5.19 ERA. He completely struggles. He's 5 and 20 in his MLB career. But oh well. Des Payne finished with a 4.61 ERA, 2 and 4. Domingo Acevedo came in, did okay actually for September call off wise, 1 and 1, 4.84. Also, Hernandez struggled getting called up. Terrion Guerrero did okay. Cody Glover, okay season there. Jordan Hicks, okay season well. Brandon Finnegan struggled for September call-ups, but that is what it is. Second Rider did okay. Winninger did okay. Sam Tilavila, 3.25 ERA. So he came into his own at the end of the year with 19 saves, and he did only play in 29 games. So if you give him about... 37 games, he could potentially have like 30 saves. So that Sal Sandy Alessandro didn't pitch as well as Hudson Street, so that's not that big of a deal. Lineup wise, you got Miguel Rojas, our somehow all star, but three home runs, 42 RBIs, 0.275. That would give him seven home runs and 108 RBIs on the year, batting 265 on his career, actually. Garrett Cooper, 15 home runs, 49 RBIs. Good first baseman there. Osvaldo Arcia cooled down, but he was really good in my opinion. 31 bombs, 102 RBIs, along with a .246. He's definitely going to be our outfielder next year, hopefully, or DH next year. Jorge Soler, 31 bombs, 80 RBIs, .298. Thank you, Nair, for telling me to pick him up because he's actually really, really underrated. He's actually really, really underrated, honestly. Maybe I'll even go after him in KTL one time. The next guy is uh, Derek Dietrich, 18 home runs, 68 RBIs, .289. Could be on the move this offseason, but hey, we'll see. Lewis Brinson struggled, 11 home runs, 54 RBIs. Uh -huh. Well, I'm going for... I, I didn't say this KTL there. I didn't say... Th this KTL. I don't even think that we're gonna auction Royals because right now they're like 52 and 53, so they're actually like competing sort of. So I don't even think that they're gonna. Me, Rev, D, me, Rev, Deacon, Brian were talking about it yesterday on the live stream on uh, Twin Stock. We were saying that we don't know if we're gonna auction Royals or at least not this season because they're uh, f they're only 52 and 53, so they're at least like kind of uh, producing. But yeah, if not, I'm if I get another bad spot, I might just take Royals because they have like Jacob Eunice and like the other players. So anyway, Yadiel Rivera, six home runs, four, uh, 41 RBIs, two point point two four one. Uh, he was just another fill-in who played actually uh, below average, but he did he did okay. And then Eric Yaglio, another fill-in, five home runs, 23 RBIs, a point two two five. He did good. And then Brian Holiday, one home run, 13 RBIs, uh, point. 212 struggled. Braxton Lee coming in. So that's September call up. No home runs. Three RBIs. Point 212 in his first chance at the show. So that was pretty good. Okay for Braxton Lee. Not not bad, but this is a personal B action, so I can't be mad. 
Thomas Tellis, the catcher, no home runs for guys, .206, that's the backup. And that, that was all right. Rafael Ortega, 2 and 7 for 216. Campbell, 6 for 32 and a .246, so not bad for Campbell. And he was, he was the starter at like 1.2. So I cannot be mad at that. Peter O'Brien, 3 home runs, 10 RBIs, .178. Eh. And then Roy Merrillis, eh, he was the September call-up just, just to give him some MLB action, considering he might not ever get it. Mm-hmm. So, we finished 43 games behind the Nationals, who won the division, 56 and 106 record. Let me actually, I'm going to go get paper and write this down. I'll be back in like two seconds. What's up, Nair? I'm back. I got the paper. I just want to write it down just to keep it for, like, memory's sake as well. So that way I don't have to go back into a stream in, like, an hour f- for, like, an hour and 40 minutes to look, at, uh, look for it. So, we finish year one, which was, what, 56, 106? Yeah. So, Miami Marlins franchise. So, we got year... We finish 56 and 106. Mm-hmm. What we what was our record? We went 24, 24 and 52 in the division. 25 and 56 at home. And then we were 31 and 50 away and then I don't, I don't really care about day or night games so that was that yeah the pitching pitching MVP would be obviously Jake Eunice who had who went 15 and 9 uh, 142 Ks with a 2.87 ERA and a 1.18 WHIP in 191.1 innings pitched. Okay, cool. Now for the bullpen MVP, who, uh, bullpen MVP, not Des Payne, probably. Honestly, I would have to say it would be Sam, Sam Tiviala, honestly. Who went one and two with, uh, 27, wait, actually with, uh, 27 strikeouts, right? 27 Ks, along with the 3.25 ER. We'll get into free agency here t- too soon after the postseason. How many saves did he have as well? He had 19 saves. And he also had what? Uh, 1.63. Uh, I already got that. And then he also pitched in what? 20 turn 27.2. Pitched. All right, our lineup MVP is definitely gonna be Jorge Soler, right? Yeah, Ho- Jorge Soler. Uh, you know what? Lineup. Actually, no. We'll, we'll just do hitting leaders instead of MVPs. We'll do hitting leaders. So the home runs would be, I believe, Solar and Arcia both had 31. Yeah. Our 
RBIs would go to our Arcia, who had 102. The best average would go to who? 275 is so far the highest. 298, I do believe. Yep, 298 to Jorge Solar. There we go. What hit leader now? So Rosas had 166, 166, 132, 155. Looks like it was Ro Rojas at 166, right? Yeah. Oh, actually, I do just gotta check out Eric Campbell first. Yeah. All right, cool. So it is. It was 166. And the most runs is probably Arcia, or actually Hori Solar. Ah, whatever. I don't care about runs. All right. I don't think the the awards are they out? No, nah, it's just voting. All right, it's just voting, so we don't have to really worry about that. And then All Stars, I wanted to write down. All we had for All Star was a. Uh, the only All Star I believe was um. Miguel Rojas. All right, cool. All right. We can same to the postseason now. Alright, so taking a look at the postseason, we have Toronto and the Yankees and Milwaukee versus Arizona for the wild card. So now your your Arizona team here, if this was a KTL sim, they they made the playoffs. Um Oh, what a wild card game, eh? What a wild card game. to nothing. Jesus Christ, Anderson got lit up. 19 to nothing. How do you even make the wild card if you're just going to win 19 to nothing? You make the wild card just to lose 19 to nothing. That's freaking great. Alright, so sadly though, it doesn't look like they are going to win because they're taking it on freaking Washington. Um, but then we'll head to Yankees versus Toronto. Stroman versus Sevy, and the Yankees win 8-0. Alright, at least that's a little more respectable, but still. So the Yankees will take on Boston. Um, just because you're, you're the Arizona Diamondbacks will watch what you can do in the playoffs. So, you lose game one, you win game two. Game three will go to Washington. Game four goes to Diamondbacks. All right, so we got a game five. Um, we're not actually gonna play it, but we'll we'll watch it. We'll we'll do a little bit of some of some fun for this uh live stream, eh? We'll make this live stream a little bit more fun watching. Uh, we'll watch like the ninth inning, I guess, depending on how close it is. We'll watch the ninth inning. And for what, 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 how the playoffs work, if we don't make it, we'll just pick, pick a team that we think is going to win, and we'll, we'll watch. But for, for the sake, since you're Diamondbacks and KTL, and the Diamondbacks are in it, we'll just do the, do, do the Diamondbacks. So AJ Pollock is leading off, but sadly we're not going to watch it. Uh, We'll sim to the ninth inning. Uh, let's see. Nothing going on here, really, right? Yep, no. So 
this is all right Washington takes a one to nothing lead nothing really going on for I'm surprised honestly I'm surprised that the Diamondbacks are even still in in this series oh they got Eduardo Escobar all right all right what are we now bottom five or top five Still one nothing. All right. Oh, two run homer for Ryan Zimmerman. Make that a three to nothing game. Looks like Arizona's starting to go down, eh? Make that four to nothing. All right. So we'll jump in and watch as we are here, top nine. Max Scherzer still on the mound. Arizona down four to nothing in game five of this AL. DS. We'll take a look at all the other division series in the MLB after this game as well. We'll see what happened. But for right now, one and two as Lamb will get a hold of this one, but it will be caught by the center fielder in Adam in there for the first out of the inning. It's going to be interesting to see what Bryce Harper does next season as well, as he's a free agent. As David Peralta comes up at the plate, Max Scherzer is two outs away from going a complete game. So, Nair, for the CS, you can choose what what team we watch if you want. I'll go over whatever teams are still are still in, in it of the ALCS and the NLCS, and you can cho choose what team you want to root for, and we can watch when it comes down to like an elimination game, I guess. So now the 2-2 count. Swung on and missed, so Scherzer gets the strikeout. What number strikeout is that for him? That's Scherzer's seventh strikeout of the game. Mm -hmm. We'll see if they're still in it. They might have lost. We'll see if they're still in it, though. So, Eduardo Escobar. The 1-1 one, one count to Escobar. One out away from advancing to the ALC, uh, NLCS is the Washington Nationals. It's going to be interesting to see if they can get it done in, in the NLCS with whoever they're up against. I think it's pr it's probably Cubs-Dodgers in the NL Central. As Scherzer hits um, Eduardo Escobar. So, that will be the end of the day for, for Scherzer. They're not going to give him a complete game. It's in comes Sean Kelly. Here comes up Steven Sosa Jr. We have the Dodgers are still in it. We'll watch the Dodgers. Then we'll, we'll, then we'll go over the NL. So Kelly walks Sosa Jr. there. As then now, here comes in Sean Doolittle. Can you pick a starting pitcher, please? As who's who's up? Alex Avila. This is prob probably going to be the last out. I don't think Avila is going to be able to do anything. But if you can get on base, you do, you do bring up uh, AJ Pollock. But it won't matter. Dude, Diddle strikes him out as the Diamondbacks will get eliminated from the postseason. But hey, you made it to, to the postseason at least, alright? You made it to the postseason and you beat the Brewers 19 to nothing in the wild card. So, congrats. Alright, so, looks like the Dodgers, oh, the Dodgers-Cubs series went, went to five, so we can actually watch that as well, too. Boston and Yankees went to five, too. We have a lot of games we can watch. And then who, and then the Twins-Houston went to five as well. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll watch the, uh, only because today is still, obviously, the same day. We'll watch the, uh. We'll watch Dodgers Cub game game five as well. Uh, holy crap! This is actually very in interesting playoffs. Eight nothing for, for the Yankees in the wild card. Nineteen nothing Diamondbacks over Brewers, and then all the games have gone to game five. It's Cole versus Kershaw. Kershaw got lit up by Chicago game one. Holy shit! But yeah, they they got a uh, Garrett. They uh the Cubs traded for Garrett Cole early on in the year. But yeah, all the games are heading to game five, so we can watch all. Cause I have nothing I gotta do just yet. I have to shower later, but cause I got work. But anyway. So we're just gonna fast forward it once again to the ninth inning. Hopefully it can be a close game. Justin Turner with the solo shot. 
to start off the game. Alright, one, two, three inning there. So, Jimenez with a solo shot. One to one. Okay. Okay, still one to one. Kemp Kemp gets a double. Alright. Back up here. One, two, three inning. So I believe we are bottom we're top five now, right? Yeah. Nothing really going on. Two run shot for Max Buncey as LA takes a three to one lead. Three run shot by Chris Bryant. Four to three lead Chicago. This is a bad. Th this is a good game. This is a great game. All right. So. Here's the Dodgers with their last chance here. Justin Wilson coming in to close out the game for the save. Max Muncy oh, definitely has the power to go deep. If he's actually going to be able to. The question is, Max Muncy will get a leadoff single. He's going for two. So he will actually get a leadoff double here for LA. This is going to be a very, very great game. You can already tell here. Yasmani Grandal is now up. Muncy on second with the leadoff double. Three to one count. Grandal takes the strike there for a ball. Oh, and that's going to bring in a run. Once he's going home. The throw is on the mark. He's safe, though. The Dodgers tie out the game. Four to four. He has Mani Grandal with a single to tie up the game. What do you think about this game, Nair? It's <laughs> a crazy game, actually, honestly. Surprised this game is actually like. Uh, honestly, I thought that the Dodgers were. That the Dodgers, if I can speak English today, was going to run away with it, but not. Nah. Yasiel Puig strikes out. I'm just on kick right now. <laughs> Three and one to the Dodgers left fielder. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3 1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in the zone, or do you just pitch around it? Alright, here we go. Three to one count. As that's popped up. And it is going to be caught by Wilson Contreras, I think, or who's the catcher for them? Yeah, Contreras. So Justin Tomer, solo shot in the, in the first. He's the one who got the home run party started. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. This will get down for a base hit, and everyone will be safe. Man, I'm first and second now, as the runner is now in scoring position, obviously. Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed with so much velocity in the game. That was a 96-mile-an-hour fastball. That he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tucked right there. You have to honor when a guy's going to Alright, let's skip the let's skip the replays though, because we gotta cause we got two two more game fives to watch. <laughs> that goes foul. 
run it down. It's a foul ball. Now the one and two pitch. Wilson pitches the ball. All right. Who, who's your prediction? <laughs> is is LA or Chicago going to take this? Will Chicago walk off here in front of the home fan? Will we see another NLCS for Chicago? Come Jimenez is leading off here with Hayward and uh, Kittery. You got the Dodgers winning this game. So, obviously, it'll be in extras then if they win, but still, if it goes into extras, we'll probably watch the, about the first, like, two extra innings, and if it goes past the 11, we'll just sim to the bottom half then. So, th there's the first out. We'll watch, like, the first inning, and then we'll, or we'll watch, like, the first extra inning, and then we'll just sim, sim to the uh, bottom of each inning. High fastball there from Pedro Baez. Alright, just have to ground out, which now will bring up uh, Katerini, I think. Alright, so that's the strikeout. So we'll watch this one inning, see if the Dodgers can take the lead, and then the Cubs come back. If they can't, we'll just send to the bottom, bottom of the, of the inning because we do have a couple more games to watch. I want to watch basically all the elimination games. That's going to be a ground error, right? And that's through for his first base hit in this one. So the leadoff man reaches base safely here in extra innings. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason. Into the box, Brian Dozier. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Not much to say about that swing other than it should have never happened. Go ahead, runs the board here at first with nobody out. Curve ball bounces, and this one gets away. And a very big mistake as that'll move the possible <laughs> run into scoring. So Bellinger's on second, all right. Wild pitcher, right? So all of a sudden, Corey Seager's up. Weren't you trying to get Seager in there? He's going to swing at that. How about this? Solid strategy, except this time it didn't work out, and it's a wild pitch. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Brian Dozier takes the hat trick with his third strikeout of the night. Yeah, instead you took, like, Rosario for him. How is Rosario doing it? doing it anyway this year though is he like hitting well or He's hitting 256 in AAA. Not bad. That that, yeah, but not. But that's Triple A. Now we've got a battle on our hands. Now the three and two pitch. Counts 
still full three and two. That's deep. If it's fair, it's caught, but it's not fair, so it is not caught. How? Has he hit home runs in there, or just like balls? Or do I mean just like, um, hit? That's gonna come in to score. It's gonna be a close play at the plat. He could have gone. He could have gotten him out, but the Dodgers take a five to four lead. He could have easily gotten him out at home, but he didn't throw it in. Like nine. Eh, I'm sorry. I'm happy with Bradley. He's putting up like a 2.15 ERA or something like that. And then Jake Lamb, I think, is hitting like 240s, 250s, something like that. Honestly, I'll check it out now. It was an even deal, in my opinion. Bradley's doing well, and then Jake Lamb. Uh, It's Jake Lamb. Runners on first with one down. Apparently, Lamb's actually like hot. So, oh, Jake Lamb, seventeen seventy-two and two ninety-two. What the hell am I talking about? Put a base hit there for the Dodgers, as it looks like this game is probably about to be run, running away at this. We're just going to fast forward it to the next half inning. Yeah, three, three run home run. So we'll just tune in here, see, see if Chicago can get something going. Uh, it depends on his, his hitting stats are never really good, but... I mean, if he can give you two, 250 with, like, 15 bombs and, like, 50 RBIs or something in the MLB, I mean, I, I'd take that, honestly. So the Cubs down 8-4 here, bottom 10. They're going to have to make a major comeback here against uh, L.A. Uh, let's just fast forward. I'm not really enjoying this game. Next at bat, another single. Okay. One run scores, and they hit into a double play. So the Dodgers win. Honestly, I think that we're not gonna watch the a ALDSs. Actually, we'll watch the MCSs if it goes to like a game seven. We'll watch. It goes to a game game seven in, in the CSs. We'll watch, but we will sim, we'll sim uh, game by game here for the NL for. For the ALDSs. Boston Yankees. Ah, uh, I feel. But the Yankees won a 6 2 against Boston. So now we head to the Houston Twin Series. Jose Barrios versus. Uh, Dallas Keiko and the Twins win. This will be Twins Yankees in the ALCS. You have to be serious right now. So we'll follow the Dodgers since that's the team that you do want to watch. So they beat Washington game one and then now it's game two. We'll just take a look at the New York series. They are up one to zero on the Twins. So a day here. Severino versus Odorizzi. They lose that one. So we'll head back over to the Dodgers there because they have a game today. They beat Washington 4-2. So that series is now tied 2-2. Make that a 3-2 series. Take a quick look at the Yankees series. They are tied at two apiece. All right. And the Dodgers will advance to the World Series. So we take a look now at the Yankees series. They are tied 2-2 with Minnesota. And the Yank or they were up to 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 Minnesota, so it'll be a Yankees Dodgers World Series. So we'll go from the Dodgers point of view. They will travel to the World Series as the Dodgers take Game One. Game Two goes to New York. 
game three, Meta versus uh, Sunny Gray, they will win. Game four is now a 2-2 series. Game five will go to the Dodgers. So game six, since it's an elimination game, we'll head into it. I will be right back as well while it is loading in. There's the lineup as well. We traded Martin Prado to, to, to the Yankees, obviously, before. All right, so here we go. This is going to be a very, very good series now. Chris Taylor. Oh, uh, crap. Fast forward it. Fast forward it to the ninth. And you know what? Just for suspense, let's skip to the ninth. As <laughs> looks like the Dodgers... We'll just sim to the next half of the inning. The, uh, the, the Dodgers have ran away with it. But we'll, we'll just make sure that they're not going to come back. With them. But it looks like the Dodgers will go on to win the World Series here. Pending any potential breakdown. You know what? Just since I don't think that they're going to come back. Especially after that strikeout. What do you say we... uh? Play as the New York Yankees. This is who up? Glaber Torres. All right, cool. What a catch by whoever the, their first baseman is there. And then the former Miami Marlin, Martin Prado. So, the Los Angeles Dodgers have won the World Series here in New York. Dodgers get it done. Manny Machado gets it done. Brian Dozier, this stacked Dodgers team, gets it done. That's a team that we're going to have to go, go against in a couple years. And we have an amazing pitching staff, so if we can just get some lineup help, we could honestly be ready to contend in, contend in about like two years. So, yeah. The Yankees win the World Series. We take a look now. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. These are the retired players. Only Gunkel and Hudson Street. I don't really care about that. Any big names? Hop and Sabathia. Doesn't look like any huge, huge names. No, no, no. Not any big, huge names. Like, surprising names is what I mean. No, not really. Abreu and Beltre, yeah. Exclusive free agents rights, we have no one. Review the staff, Don Mattingly. I'm not going to fire him. He's a good, he's a good man. Actually, before I say if I'm going to fire him or not, who is available when it comes? No, I'm going to keep him. Review the staff, though. I just need a first base coach. All right, cool. Ooh, Steve Thompson. There we go. Uh, we have no exclusive free agent rights, so let's just send to free agency. Alright, off. What is the offer salary arbitration? We'll offer arbitration to Shamanaya. We'll do that much for Shamanaya. And then Carlos Rondo will offer him arbitration as well. We'll offer him 4 mil for, for arbitration. Relief pitcher Nick Wettinger will offer arbitration as well. We'll do six sixty thousand there. Then Des Payne. Go get a catcher. Yeah, definitely. I definitely have to go out and get get a catcher. Des Payne, we'll offer arbitration to him too. I wouldn't mind doing what his last year's salary was. Brian Holiday offer arbitration as well. He can be our backup. Scott Van Slyke, I'll let walk. Eric Campbell, only because he can play a bunch of positions and he was pretty solid this year. Offer arbitration to him. Miguel Rojas, he was an all-star. I'll offer an actual contract to Miguel Rojas. And then arbitration to Derek Dietrich. I'll offer him that much for arbitration. And then J.B. Shuck, I'll let walk as well. Tender contracts. Jake Eunice, gotta go out and re-sign him. Yarlin Garcia, same thing with him. 
you're probably going to progress, honestly. So we can put you as a rotation spot with the player option for four years. There you go. Brandon Finnegan will give you that much. Trevor Richards will give you that much. I actually withdraw you. Trevor Richards, I'll give you that much. Whatever you want. Dakota Hudson. Whatever these guys want, I'm just going to offer these prospects here. Cole Stewart, I'll let walk just so I can clear up some like cap room. Uh, should I like uh, should I like Chris O'Grady walk? Yeah, he he's not, she's not, she's on the older side. I'll, I'll let Chris O'Grady walk. Nick Nieder resigned. Dylan Peters, uh, I'll let him walk as well. I'll let the C pot walk and I'll resign Dane Dunning for right now. Stack and Ryder, I want to resign. Same thing as Coda Glover, I want to resign. There we go. Terion Guerrero, resign you there, buddy, too. Jordan Hicks, resign you. Alessar Hernandez, nah, I'll, I'll let you walk, you see, pot. Tyler J, I'll resign for you. Kinley Pozo, I'll let walk, he struggled. Cloyd, I'll let walk, he was terrible. De La Rosa, I'll resign, he's still pretty young. Actually, no. Rocco, I'll let walk. You're a C pot at 22. We'll resign you, buddy. Uh, you're old. You're young. You're a B pot, though, on the older side, but I'll still resign you. Sam Tiviala, I want to bring you back. Uh -huh. Tommy Tellis. I'll let walk. Roy Merrillis, sign on. Austin Nola, I'll let walk, let walk, let walk. I'll let all these catchers walk. Garrett Cooper, I want to bring back. Bring back Rodriguez as well. San Diaz, bring back. We'll see what catchers are available too. This guy I want to bring back. He was okay. I'll bring back James Nelson only because he's young. Bring back Chris Torres. Freya Ortega was okay off the bench. I'll bring him back. I won't bring him back. Austin Dean, because you're 25, I'll bring you back. You're 23, bring you back. And then. Here, that'll bring you back. Uh, Louis Brinson, I want to bring you back because you're young. You're going to grow. Monte Harrison bring you on Braxton Lee bring you back in a heartbeat bring you back here 23 bring you back Galloway you can walk the right field bring Hart back and then everyone else can walk there we go all right Harper Miller Donaldson Machado Brian Dozier a lot of people hit free agency here whether or not I can go out and sign them is another question but like I said taking a look at what we need Rotation's fine, in my opinion. Bullpen could use help, but I don't know if there's anyone I do, do want to go out of. Plus, most of these guys haven't progressed yet. They're going to progress after like spring training. We do have that ape, uh, we have we do have that 99 pot closing pitcher that we drafted, Alexi Royes. Catcher is definitely in need, as well as third base and shortstop. Although we could roll with Miguel Rojas, I guess, after he um, if we really want to. Uh, and then I guess left field could even be a need too. Yeah, no, everything else is like bad except for that. But before actually we do anything, we gotta go and save this. We gotta save just to make sure that we don't screw anything up. Where is it? Right here. This is saving over my Miami Marlins. There we go. We offered a bunch of salary arbitrage. All right, catcher. Let's take a look at catchers first. Is there anyone who I like here? Not really. 
I don't want to go after a Yasmani Grandal just yet. Who do you think I should go and get? I don't want, maybe I, it depends how much, depends how much they want, because I don't even know if we can afford, like, Kurt, Kurt Suzuki, I can do a one-year one, one year deal, or I can do a two-year deal player option, everyday catcher, and I can bring him up. Could probably do that, but it doesn't matter. Um, what player do I want to go out and get? Put an offer to Manny Machado. Gaddis, you think? Let me just put in an offer for Machado first and then go after I mean Gaddis, how'd he do last year? Get Pop. Where's Pop? I need real names now. I don't speak good I don't speak good nicknames, so Alright, so we'll put in an offer to Evan Gaddis too. Actually, we're going to withdraw that for right now. Um, first off, right now he wants a platoon. You're probably going to, you're going to be our everyday catcher. I can give you f that for about 4.9. I'm fine with that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's pop though? Like, oh! Ooh, interesting here, Nelson Cruz. Nelson Cruz is interesting, but I don't, I don't think that we, that we really have a spot for Nelson Cruz. One year for Evan Gattis? All right. Yeah, true, I don't want to give him five years. I'll go one year for 5.5. Actually, I'll go one year everyday catcher because he's going to be our everyday catcher for five years. All right, for five mil. There we go. Oh, Pop is power. Right, right, right. Uh, I, I thought it was like a nickname. True. He has so much power against righties, too. He batted in nine home runs, 40 RBIs last year, but uh, he was, I think he was platooning with uh, Brian McMahon, probably. Yeah, he was, he was basically platooning with McMahon. All right, um. Put an offer to man for Manny Machado, just cause. I do just want to put in a quick offer for John Jaya. It's only going to be a one-year deal. For like that, there we go. Uh, any pitchers? I really want to go after. Matt Harvey, I guess. If if he wants, if Harvey wants a one year deal worth that, not even. I, I won't even do that. Uh, no, who wants a who wants a one year deal? Ooh, Kevin Fox, this B pot starting pitcher. I'll do that, buddy. Same thing with Aaron Blair. There we go. All right. Well, let's see who we got. We'll sim through the date here. Yeah, we can't afford Machado. I don't care about that. We, not Kinley, not Rogers. All right, there's a bunch of guys. The Red Sox got Andrew Miller. Indians signed Zach Britton. As did we even sign anyone on day one? No, I didn't think that we could even afford. Wait, we did apparently. We signed Kevin, Kevin Fox. Okay, cool. Now I do just want to go and make sure quick. How many players do we have? We have 26, 26 plus 25 plus 29 plus 7. So we have 87. So I'm, I want to go and cut down a couple of players quick. What's what's like our worst overalls that I can cut? Uh, Skylar Ewing, cut you, buddy. Just to clear up some more space. Tender contracts. Yeah, the over Rivera. I'd rather let him walk. Um, that 
that's right I didn't offer them for a little all right free agency contracts now if we take oh wait no we've, there is a relief pit, there is a relief pitcher for uh, contracts wise yeah this guy come on just take it um Who was it that I offered to for the catcher wise? Evan Gaddis is still available. If we can, we're still the only team on him. Um, for an everyday catcher for you, Hatcheveria? No, no, no. I don't want to make that offer actually. Um,. I didn't even see he, he was available. There we go. Oh my god, I just want to resign him. Come on. Also, do we get. We got Evan Gaddis. There we go. So we got Evan Gaddis now. Thank you. For our catcher spot. We should probably go out and get a backup as well, but I'm not that big on that one. Uh. Tender the contracts of who, who else do we got? Randy Gonzalez, they want to resign. I'll offer him 200. Okay. Oh, you're on the older side, so I didn't offer it to you before. Thank you. Who else should I go after? Maybe. Blah. Oh, Nathan Navoldi is interesting. I don't, we don't really have room for him though, so never mind. I do need some pen, but not this bad. Bruce Rondon, how is he? He didn't play last year. Who has a who has a good walk per nine? Josh Tomlin for the pen. Let's give him a one-year deal. And first, first just one year. I'll see, I'll see what he wants. If I give him a bullpen spot, how much would it cost for him? Two mil. There we go. Tom with a good walk for nine. Uh, we don't really need a closer because we have uh, the other guy. Um, could use a better backup. Martin Maldonado, a one-year deal just for depth, though. Ah, uh, he won't go that far. Nick Huntley, one-year deal. For that depth, uh, he wants to be a platoon catcher. How about a depth catcher? Who who doesn't mind being depth? No one. As Lucas Duda is, Lucas Duda is in, Duda is actually really really interesting. How old is he? He's thirty three. So two year deal with the player option. I can give you that, and I can probably promise you a platoon role, right? Yeah, I don't know if Garrett Cooper's going to progress, and if Duda can play third base, then he'll definitely have a platoon role. Uh, he can play both outfields, never mind. Ooh, Neil Walker. He can't play third base, so it sucks, but I, I wouldn't mind bringing on Neil Walker. Who can play third base here? Luis Valbuena. You were really, really good last year, actually. When it comes to power. You're going to be a two-year. And I can promise you a platoon. Yonder Alonzo. Matt Dominguez is available. I don't really want to go out and sign him, I guess. Ooh, Jose Reyes. Eh. Right, isn't that good? Uh, I will in a minute. I just want to go and see. Can I go out and get Cruz? I could use... Nah, I can't really use Cruz. Alright, we'll sim to free agency too. Nats get Brian Dozier. Dodgers get Donaldson. Braves got Sean Doolittle. Mariners got Bryce Harper. Okay. Who'd we get? We 
got Luis Valbuena, who I'm going to see third base, and he can play first base and second base as well. So I'm just going to put it as infield. He's going to be our starting third base then. Probably could go out and get another shortstop, but honestly, I want to see if uh, Miguel Rojas can produce as what he did last year, honestly. Because we're not contending, we're not contending th this year again. We also did get Vi Victor Victor Mesa. Uh, our outfield is fine. I don't really want to go. I don't, I don't even know who's still available that we can go after. Who's still available on the free agency? Machado is. See, uh, Nelson Cruz. Get Kiki. What, what position is Kiki Hernandez? What position is Kiki Hernandez again? Crap. Second base? Ooh, actually. Yeah, what position is Kiki Hernandez? Because I'll go after him. I have no problem going after him. I just need to know what, what position he is. Brett Gardner, no. I don't really want to go after him. I don't mind offering Josh Harrison a one-year contract. Here, I'll I'll player search him. They might he might have been signed. Yeah, he was signed by um. He was signed by LA, but like if he's cheap, I'll if he's, if he's like cheap, I'll trade for him. Go up Aaron Blair for him, and I can get something back too. Anyone who is signed to a freaking contract here, Jesus Christ. I wouldn't mind giving up Aaron Blair f straight up for him because he's he's on the older side, so. I'll, I'll do that trade. Aaron Blair's on the older side, so it doesn't really matter. Um, hang on. First, I just want to see who we got. I I just want to see if there's anyone off, else I want to offer to. So I offered to... They, they re-signed him already. So they re-signed him because he wasn't in free agency. So I had to uh, offer them a trade. So I gave them Aaron Blair, who's like tw 26. And I offered a contract to Josh Harrison, so that way he can be our starting catcher. Um, Sim to free agency three. We have 91 people, so I gotta release someone. Who don't I want? Brian Miller, because I just got Kiki, so we don't need Brian Miller. That would be 90, then we'll release this guy, I don't need him. That that would be eighty nine. Does that make room for? Does that make room for uh, Josh Harrison? Just a matter of if we have the salary for it. Just take our contract. Obviously, no one's offering you a friggin' contract, Josh Harrison. Come on, man. Arbitration I offered to everyone. Yeah. So the Padres get Manny Machado. There we go. Josh Harrison finally decided to friggin' sign. Take a look. We got Manea, Rondon, Eunice, blah, blah, blah. We did get Josh. I've totally forgot about Josh Tomlin as well. So, welcome to the team as well, Tomlin. Eric Campbell, you're, you're just going to get moved to first base. Just so that way we can add some first base depth. Secondary position. Literally like everything. Now 
now it says no secondary positions. You can literally play like everything. So we'll just put infield. We'll just do that, and I know he can play outfield too. So not that big of a deal. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. Alright. Um. We'll just him the rest of the off season. So the Yankees got George Springer for David Robertson, Jordan Montgomery, and Esau and Florio. Jesus Christ, Houston destroys that trade. White Sox get Fulmer for Kopech and Mad Grail. Diamondbacks get Kermayer for Corbin and Ellis. Merrifield for present Tavares. There we go. The panel should all side, right? Yeah, the panel should completely side. Alright, just taking a look at our spring training team. Let me make sure that we don't have any real five draftees that we accidentally drafted. John Brebria. I actually don't mind him. I don't mind playing him. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So if we do have some space, I do want to just go out and sign some first base depth. Sign on Joe Mauer. I'm just going to sign on some infield depth since we don't have much of that. Then we'll just sims we'll just sim to regular season and then we'll see what else we got, eh? Alright, cool. So I don't think any more big trades happened. Pollock got traded. Anything else really big? No no no. So it looks like our rotation for this upcoming year. Sean Manaya. Obviously nine and twelve last year with three three point four one. Jake Eunice, fifteen and nine with the two point eight seven last year. Carlos Rondon. Who's actually no, we'll go with Rondon and then Jake Eunice. So Rondon went six and seventeen with a five point three seven. Then you got Henderson Alvarez, who eleven and eleven with a four point two four last year, and then Yarlin Garcia who went four and eighteen with a five point nineteen. Four pen wise, hang on, so let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tiavala, you're gonna be our closer though, because you have better clutch. And I like well actually Brevio, you're gonna be our closer. Then you got Tiavala in second rider, and then you got Jordan Hicks there. As well as Kodak Lover and Winninger, and then we also have Josh Hamlin as long relief, who has a very, very good walk per nine. If you take a look, walk per nine, Manaya over four. Rondon's walk per nine isn't that good, but so okay. Eunice, good walk per nine. Alvarez, great walk per nine. Then Garcia, okay, walk per nine, but is what it is. But Brabia is going to be our closer. Alright. So, leadoff wise. Our roster is what it is when it comes to the hitting. So Miguel Rojas is going to lead off once again. And then we got Josh Harrison, who I want batting second. Then I want Oswaldo Arcia batting fourth. And then Jorge Soler batting fifth. I want that to be what it was last year. Luis Valbuena batting fifth. Or actually, I haven't got us even batting fifth. Actually, no. Valbuena batting fifth. Got us sixth. Ma uh, Dietrich there. Now we're at the bottom half. And then Luis Brinson. Honestly, I'd even rather have Garrett Cooper playing over Joe Mauer. I'd rather have Garrett Cooper playing over Joe Mauer anyway. Alright, so I just gotta copy this. So then Rojas, Harrison, DH as well, Garcia. Oh, I should probably call up Kiki. Uh, where's Kiki Hernandez? I traded for him. The fuck? I traded for him. Oh crap, I did on her last name.
But I'll get it here. Hang on. Hernan. How the hell is he on the Mets? I fucking traded for him. Whatever, I only gave up... I gave up an old guy, so I don't really care about that. Doesn't make any sense. Whatever, I, I don't care. I, I have Jace Peterson instead. It's no big deal. I, I, I signed Jace Peterson. He can play every single position, so... Fine with me. Um... So, then we got Rojas, Harrison, D.H., Oswaldo, Arcia. Even against lefties. Right field, Jorge Solar. He's going to be batting fourth. Fifth, we got Luis Valbuena batting fifth. Sixth, we got catcher Evan Gaddis. Seventh, we got Derek Dietrich. Eighth, first base, Garrett Cooper. And then center fielder is going to be Luis Brinson there. So, then off the bench, we got Brian Holiday as the backup catcher, who I might not even... Use who is available as a backup catcher. Uh, Nelson Cruz is very, very intriguing. But I don't really have anywhere to fit, fit him in, and we're not really going to contend, so I don't really want to force him in there. But for backup catcher, honestly, I'd rather sit down Holiday and get Miguel Montero. He's not going to play platoon. You're going to be a, you're going to be depth. But look, I'm literally giving you money to come play. There you go. Holiday, you're going to go down to AAA more or less. You're just going to go down to AA. It's not that big of a deal. There you go. So lineup-wise, yeah, Miguel Montero, J, Joe Maurer. I don't think anyone is even going to take Maurer, but let's see. Oscar, we'll, we'll just release off Joe Maurer. I rather I rather like Garrett Cooper start this year, honestly. And then first base, let's just roll Chase Headley off off the bench for first base because he can also play third base. And how did Headley even do last year? Uh, he he didn't play in the majors last year. So Montero, Peterson, Jay, and Headley. Let's just get to simming now. We'll sim to we'll sim to through the first month. As our lineup is what is going to be probably the weakest thing. Yeah, twelve and eighteen. It's because our lineup probably. I mean, we'll see what like what our entire like team looks like, but. Completed transaction. Any big trade? Real Muto is on the move again. Corey Dickerson. Any like big, big moves? Not really. Yeah, Manaya two and one to three point one one. Carlos Rondon struggling. Two and three to uh, five point three four. Jake Eunice two and one with a two point seventy. Henderson Alvarez struggling one and three to five point sixteen. Jarlin Garcia two and three to four point sixty. Tomlin's doing horrible. Winninger's doing eh. Actually, no. Winninger's horrible. Cody Glover's eh. Jordan Hicks doing horrible. T of TVL is doing pretty well, though he's only pitched like what seven innings. Zach Ryder's doing good, and Brebbia's doing pretty good as well. How many saves for Brebbia? Six. Miguel Rojas not having an All-Star type of year. Josh Harrison eh. As well, though Arcia seven eighteen for two forty. That's actually pretty good. Jorge Soler once again doing. Really, really well. So glad that you told me to come to go and pick him up. Luis Valbuena just doing good. Peterson's doing really well off the bench. So you know what? Jace Peterson, you're gonna get the start for this month over Miguel Rojas, both sides. Then you got Dirk. Then you got Evan Gaddis. Dirk Dietrich has three home runs, 13 RBIs for 258. Garrett Cooper is doing amazing, batting 340, and then Lewis Prince in there with a 216. No one doing really that good off the bench except for Miguel Montero, but that is what it is. Uh, might as well sim again for the next month. I want to let our prospects develop. I don't want to really force trades. We're only in May. I was about to say, where, where the hell's the draft? We're only in May. After this, we'll take a look at our minor league system and see where everyone is. 
Um, any big trades? No, there actually hasn't been any trades. Um, Manaya six and two was at three point two seven. Manaya is doing amazing. Rondon struggling. Jake Eunice three and four with a three point six five. Eunice is doing pretty good as well, honestly. Anderson Alvarez doing four with a four point six three. Eh. Same thing with Garcia. He's doing eh. Tomlin's improved. Just when I was about to write him off, he he improved tremendously. Whittinger might get written off into the minors. Cody Glover's really really improved. Hicks probably gonna get sent down. Tiaval is doing really good. Uh, Stecken Rider's doing pretty good as well. And then John Brebbia, uh with thirteen saves doing eh. Jace Peterson in his leadoff spot, he one home run, twelve hours batting, two sixty. Miguel Rojas is heating up though. Um, Josh Harrison is doing pretty well as well. As well, though, Garcia is cooking when it comes to uh, the home runs wise, twelve for thirty four. Jorge Solar nine for twenty four, doing pretty good. These two guys doing and can't, can't really hit, but they're hitting home runs, which is good. Valbuena's doing good. Gaddis was a good catcher signing, in my opinion. Dietrich's doing really good. Same thing with Garrett Cooper. And then Lewis Brinson's starting to heat up. Where are we in the standings? 13 and a half games back. I think I'm going to keep... I think that we're keeping the lineup the way it is. Should we maybe go out and... Nah, he, he's regressing, but... I want to keep the lineup the way it is, I feel. Rojas is doing good off the bench, which I'm fine with. Jace Peterson's coming in, still doing good, good starting wise. Uh, actually, let, let's start Rojas, and we'll see how we can do. View budget. What, what's our budget like? All right, whatever. Mm -hmm. Next things next coming into the minor leagues. Is there anyone? Domingo Acevedo, you're going back up to a B, buddy. I don't know why you fucking regressed. But that's a no-no. There you go. How's Victor Victor Mesa doing? Mm. Anyone who's ready to be called up? For my pen-wise? Terion Guerrero is. Welcome to, to the show, kid. Bye-bye, Hicks. And then Alexi Royez is actually doing really good in the minors, but he's not going to get called up just yet. Uh, Terion Guerrero. Just want to make sure. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, that will sim to, to the 30th. See how we do. All right. I just want to see who we draft. Give me. We got another 99 pot. Let's go. Another 99 pot, 69 overall too, and it's an outfielder too. I will take that. Another closing pitcher. Another another B pot outfield is basically I'm gonna be writing, then everyone else can just stay. But there we go, 99 pot. That's basically I'm gonna be ready. Any big trades too? Santana and for Shebler. Nothing, nothing too big so far this season, but we are basically kind of at deadline time. Um. And we have started to do bad with Ro. Actually, Rojas has done fine. He came in with three RBIs. We'll sim to the first. We'll sim to the first. Coming. What is up, YBC Snag? Welcome to the stream. As we will just go take a look at any big trades. Malik Smith for Aloy Jimenez. Alright, that's like the only big one. But, here we are. We are 12 games back from the division. Taking a look at how are we. We are only 4 games back from the wild card, so at least we are competing. We had a better lineup. So since we are four games back, I don't really want to go out 
and be be basically buyers and go out and like try to trade for. Um, you know, what I, mean? I don't want to like go out and like try to acquire, but we'll see. We'll see, like, a definitely on, like, to Dale and I've taken a look. Hang on just one moment. We got Manaya 9 and 4, 2.96 ERA. Carlos Rondon completely struggling. Jake Eunice 6 and 4 at 3.14. Alvarez 6 and 4 at 3.68. And then Harlan Garcia 6 and 6 with a 3.96. Helms doing A. Winninger's doing A. Cody Gloves doing A. Guerrero's still killing it up here with the 3.0 ERA. Tavala's still killing it. Second rider is. And then Brebrio's killing it with the 19 saves as well. Miguel Rojas is on fire. Alright. As well, though, Arcia cooled down a lot, only with 13 on runs. So Laura now with 15. Any good players coming off the bench, really? Eh. Doing alright. Alright, taking a look. Is there any players that... I would go after Martinez, but... His contract's a little bit too long for me. Hmm. Aaron Sanchez. It's interesting, but... Don't... Don't really want to go after him all that much, so... Not Sanchez. Uh... How's Smoke doing? Smoke's doing pretty good for a first baseman, which we do need. Although, I think Garrett Cooper's actually doing alright, in my opinion. Actually, in my opinion, he's... Nah, nah, Smoke's definitely doing better, but Smoke's a little bit too old for me, anyway. Want to stick to the rebuild. Next, guys, we got Starling Castro. Bring, bring him back. We can very much bring Starling Castro back if we want. He's on his last year of his deal as well. We have to give up too much for him. Mm -hmm. Tommy Fam. Or Fam. Not really. He has Mario Petit to improve our bullpen. On, on a one year deal, what would it cost? It would just cost Luis Valbuena if we were to give up and we'd be ready. They're only they're only asking for B's. If they're only asking for like, if they're only asking for first C, I'll do it. James Nelson, Furias, Mario Petit, or Pettit. That's an easy deal. So thank you, Oakland. Oof, Addison Russell could very well be the player that I need. But, no, I'm not going to do that. Probably should, but I'm not going to. Anyone else? Adam Warren? No, he's not performing. Preston Tucker. Ooh, Dominic Leone to, to improve our pen, too. Oh, because he's in the minor... Wait, please don't tell me... Hi, Key. Please don't tell me P Petit was in the minors. No, he's still doing good. Good with th 315. I can't complain about that. As Winninger is going to get sent down, so that way Petit can remain in the MLB. Right? So, Glover, Petit... Yeah, we'll keep Glover up here, too. To let him progress. Alright. Um, What team are we on for the trading block, anyway? Justin Turner's for trade. I wouldn't mind him, but he's just a rental. What's his contract like? Yeah, two or three. It's too big of a contract for me to take on. All right, I'm happy with what our team is looking like for right now. If anything, we'll, we'll just make move on deadline day.
skip the home run derby. So we, the NL wins once again, and if we take a look at the All-Stars. Oh, also, we didn't look at the awards, so we'll look at who won all the awards from last year. So the NL MVP was Paul Goldschmidt, and also the World Series MVP last year was Matt Kemp. So Paul, Paul Goldschmidt of the Arizona Diamondbacks won the NL MVP last year. Last year, Cy Young was Clayton Kershaw, batting title Freddie Freeman, reliever Sean Doolittle, rookie of the year Corbin Burns, and Hank Aaron was Paul Goldschmidt. And we'll, we're, we'll just take a quick look, see if we won any awards, but I doubt it. No. Postseason MVP was Matt Kemp as well. Alright, so your American League award. Aaron Judge won MVP last year. Cy Young was Chris Sale. Batting title, Carlos Correa is reliever. Roberto is, you know, rookie of the year was Shohei Itani. Hank Aaron, Aaron Judge. Then we're not even going to look at that because we don't have to. All-star players. So, our first all-star comes in the pitching category. Which was Sean Manaya, who so far is 11 and 4 with 2.85 ERA, 95 strikeouts, beautiful. No relievers, nor clo yeah, no, no relievers. Any uh, how is Peter Alonso an All-Star? Jesus Christ. Justin Turner is an All-Star. Maybe I will go after Justin Turner. Any more All-Stars? Not for us. So. The only one was Shaw Manaya. As I signed all the draft picks I wanted to. So we can sim to deadline time. Archie Bradley <laughs> is now an Astro for Jimmy Lorenz and um, Esteban Floreal. Dylan Bundy is now a giant for Tyler Bede and Heath Quinn. Only since there's a bunch of trades coming in and stuff, we'll look at the lineup. See, Luis Valbena can slide in at first base. I'm going to keep the lineup the way it is. We we're not gonna win we're not gonna win the division. And if we can slide in to the wild card, I'm happy, but I'm not gonna force it. Just let me view the trading block. See if there is a Michael Fulmer hit. No, that's not happening. But I will be able to get Fulmer from, from you guys. No doubt about that. I'll give you guys Brandon Finnegan. I'm fine with that. Because our, our rotation is completely young. I have to give up someone with a bit of a salary too. So, no, I'm definitely not going to be able to pull it off. Finnegan, Asan Diaz, and Josh Hart for Jose Abreu. Hmm. That's very, very interesting. So that's two years left on his deal. He's hitting good. We have really no need for Finnegan, being that our rotation is already really, really young. San Diaz, we could use for the future at second base, but I think we just drafted another one, and we still do have Frank Kim. And then right field, Josh Hart is never going to get playing time. So you know what? Just for the sake of hoping to win, we'll go after that. We're putting it all in here. Peterson, Valbuena, and Tomlin for Will Harris now. Valbuena and Petit, no. Alright, let's just slide in Jose Abreu now to where we were.
pitching rotation, Manaya 12 and 4 at the 2.75. Ron didn't complete struggling, so if we can go out and acquire a starting pitcher, that would be lovely. Our bullpen is eh, but it can do. We could go out and we, we could go out and acquire a shortstop as well as a new DH. You know what? This is literally gonna be like impossible to pull off, yeah. Stroman hit on a one year deal. No. It's way too much. Screw out of here. basically done doing deals we're we'll just head to the deadline day and see what else we can do who do we send down a eh? true three four five six seven all right i'm fine with that let's go boys I don't think that we are going to make a deadline move. Uh, we'll just view the trade block, see who's up up here. If there's anyone that I want to go after. This is basically impossible to pull off. Yeah. Yeah, we were, we're not going to be able to pull off a trade, but hey. You know what? It's what it is. So we'll send to the 31st. Hopefully we can slide into a wild card spot. Because I just kind of put all of our chips in the bag here. Come on. Okay, okay. This is very well possible. But. What we gotta do. Is win out. We're, we're, we're four games back. We need help and we have to. It's very unlikely, but I have faith. Manaya 16 6 with 2.76. Eunice 8 7 with a 3.71. Rondin is completely struggling. Tin Alvarez 8 8 with a 3.64. Yarlin Garcia 9 8 with a 3.92. Tomlin there. We can do this. We can totally do this. Barbie is having a fucking great year. We can do this. We can do this. All right. I didn't want to sim the minor league playoffs because we didn't make it. Okay. No, we got to win, boys. We got to win. That's... We, uh, we didn't make it. I thought we were going to at first. We didn't make it. Uh, so there is the playoff bracket. Seattle versus Yankees for the wild card. Winner takes on Boston. And then San Francisco. All right, so what team you want to watch in there? Out of all these teams in the playoffs, what, what team do you want to watch? What's your prediction? Because we're gonna we're gonna follow both wild cards. But what's your prediction here? The A's didn't make it, bro. Wait, did they? No, the A's didn't make it, bucko. <laughs> Alright, you're going Dodgers again? Alright, so we'll focus on, on the Dodgers. Um, Because I don't think we have... Oh, wait, here is our pitching stats. Mania finished with the... Seven, here, here's all of our stats. Mania finished with a 17-9 record, 3.14 ERA. Jake Eunice, 11-10 with a 3.73. Ron Din, 7 and 11 with a 5.58. Henderson Alvarez, 9 and 10 with a 3.53. And then Yarlin Garcia, 11 and 10 with a 3.97. Tomlin did okay with a 3.83. Glover struggled. Petit was actually a really good pickup, in my opinion. Cherry on Guerrero was a good call up. Stack and Rider did eh. 
Tiviala did well, and then John Broga did absolutely amazing as a closer spot. 47 saves. Our lineup did really, really well. Um, Jose Abreu, I like that trade deadline pickup. Jorge Solar was, well, once again, he had a down year from what he did last year, but still. Good, good year. Derek Dietrich, better year than last year, if I'm correct, right? Yeah. Evan Gaddis was a good catcher pickup. Luis Valvena, pretty good. Oswaldo Arcia, 17 home runs, 65 RBIs, and then you got Luis Brinson, who struggled, but still, three-man bench was pretty good. All right. We'll sim into the postseason. Who do we got? We'll check this out. We'll simulate and watch it quick. Um, so while you're watching that, actually, no, never mind. This is probably gonna gonna be the last postseason, and then I do actually have to go and get get ready for work. But I will be streaming later on tonight with probably my twins play all. If you would like to tune in for that. This is going to be a uh, good game, though. Back now as we draw we'll only watch the elimination play. games if, it, if it's, like, a good game. It's like the wild card we'll watch. We're just going to skip straight to it, though. We're going to be suspense. So, we'll, since San Francisco is up, we'll sim to the next half inning as they take a 42 lead. Uh, make that six to two. All right, so it's unlikely for Colorado to come back. If it's within three runs, I won't play it. But if it's like four runs, I'm just gonna hop in and play just for the hell of it. Unless I actually like start to have an effect to it. Oh my God, Trevor Story. Rushed out to deep center field. <laughs> All right, there we go. So six to three now. I'll I'll just continue to play because why not? He actually did Mark Mark Valance now with um Justin Smoke up, so he got dealt at the deadline to Colorado then. It's the one one pitch to Smoke. Are you serious right now? It went foul, all right? Imagine they actually come back here in Colorado. All right. Holy shit. I'm on all-star. What the fuck? So the Rockies go back-to-back, -back and all of a sudden it's a 6-4 to four game. <laughs> so that'll bring up Charlie Bryant. Uh, David Dahl's up. And KTL, he's hitting really, really well for me. So 3-2 three to, three to two count. No man out. Back-to-back -back home runs as Dahl won't be able to get down for a base hit. All right. <laughs> I actually can't believe I just went back to back with Story and uh, what's his name? As Desmond could get a hold of this one, let me do enough. But yeah, no, I can't can't believe I just went back to back with the uh, Story and um, you know. So Chris Ianetta is down to the final out. Send smoke. As Ianetta goes deep, and all of a sudden, the Rockies just need one more run to knock off the San Francisco Giants. 467 foot bomb for Chris Ianetta. So that'll bring off lead leadoff man DJ LeMahieu, potentially the best leadoff man in the MLB. As that will be a pop-up for the final out, and despite the Rockies' late comeback, they cannot get the win. So San Fran will move on to the NLDS to take on the Dodgers, I do believe. So a little Dodgers-San Francisco playoff action. Uh, San Francisco wins 6-5. to five. I can't believe I actually almost made, made that comeback. That was actually pre pretty cool. I didn't actually think I was going to homer three fucking times, but... Hey, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so we'll head to the NLC, uh, I mean AL wildcard now. Severino versus um, pro 
probably Hernandez or Paxton. Probably Paxton, yeah. Paxton versus Severino. D. Gordon, Segura. Oh, yeah, that's right. This Mariners team has Bryce Harper now. And the Yankees lineup is basically the same, except they added George Springer. I forgot that the Mariners signed a Bryce Harper. This is going to be a great wild card game. And the winner takes on Boston, so we can see another Boston Yankees playoffs. Yankees won that one last year. So we are here in Yankee Stadium. So we're just going to sim. Uh, we'll fast forward it to the ninth, and we'll be surprised. New York's up six, eight to three. That's the way we will head. So I'm just going to hop in and be Seattle. Since since they're down by five, I'm just going to play as Seattle. Have a little bit of some fun. As we got Seeger, Gamel, and Zanino up. So it looks like the Yankees are three outs away from taking on Boston for the second straight time in the playoffs as that Seeger's fell off. I shouldn't have swung at that one. As Gary Sanchez makes the catch there. Keith's team, yeah, Keith's team took the L to OB's team, but it's okay. Honestly, the Yankees, now with Springer, could honestly win the uh, World Series. But I mean, you still got to go through the Dodgers, who I think... Oh, wait, no, the Dodgers lost Machado in free agency. Machado signed with the Phillies, I want to say. Some of these I probably shouldn't swing at, but it's all right. So I'll bring up Mike Zanino. So they have a shift extreme left. So Zanino's a pull hitter, apparently. Literally, I'm going to aim it so I can hit it t to the short porch and go off that way. Or I'm just going to swing on a miss. So the New York Yankees will be taking on the Boston Red Sox in the ALDS. Severino gets the win, I do believe, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Severino is your winning pitcher, and then your loser is James Paxton, who got lit up judge with an amazing day. Four RBIs. Alright, so... We'll follow the... Alright, so we'll, we'll go with the Dodgers here, so... For game one against San Francisco, they win game one. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. All right. Crap. Game two for the Dodgers. San Francisco wins. Take a look. Game three, Dodgers win. Game four, the Dodgers win as well. So, there will be a game five for Milwaukee and Washington. But first, we'll just take a look at New York. So, the Dodgers already advanced. So it'll be a game five for New York, and then how, how about the other series? Uh, and there'll, there'll be a game five there. So, um, so our first game five is the Cubs series. No, Cubs missed the playoffs. Who made the playoffs then? Milwaukee. So we got Milwaukee and the Nationals. The Nationals, obviously, Bryce Harper list. They got Turner Eaton. But they signed Brian Dozier in free agency, so I mean, it, it replaces for Brian, for Bryce Harper, I guess. And then, they still barely made moves Milwaukee. I mean, Mike Moustakis, but that was obviously the beginning. Oh yeah, they also got JT Romito. So Strasburg versus Jimmy Nelson here for the Game 5. Then we'll also check out the Twins, Houston, and the Yankees, Boston. Oh, both of these... Both of these matchups, I just realized, are rematches of the ALDS from last year. And they're both going to Game 5 as well. So basically a repeat from last year. So we'll take, take a look fast forward. We'll just sim it to the ninth. Skip through it with Milwaukee so far up 3-0 three, three now. 3-1. to one. So we'll lead off double there. So Milwaukee will take a 4-1 to one lead. As we'll... Since it since it is within three one three runs, we'll watch for the Nationals and while you watch Nair, I will be right back. Just give me one moment. Here comes Yelich, but this will land untouched. 
I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. Ready with another two-strike offering. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Daniel Murphy is on deck. This will actually be the last game of the stream uh, because I have to go and take a shower. So I'm actually just going to hop, hop into this and see if I can make a comeback which will, with Washington. But um, I do have to go and go and take a shower. So we'll see that this is going to be the last game of the series or of this of this stream. And then I'll stream a little bit and then I'm, I'm either going to stream this or my twins play all tonight. Alright, so first out. I just realized I have like stamps all over me from yesterday. I completely forgot. And I haven't taken a shower in like two, uh, a day or two, so I do need to take one. I feel gross right now. Alright, Brian Dozier is basically the last hope for Washington. What's his power like? Oh. Brian Dozier gets a hold of this one. So keeping Washington alive with the two with the so solo shot there. So I'll now bring a poo. Ryan Zimmerman who definitely can go deep, but Alright, so they got Kepler on the bench. They also have Michael Taylor on the bench. How we can direct an energy team. So if anything I would replace it with Michael Taylor, but Zimmerman's fine. It's also a lefty, so maybe not. I forgot jo Josh Naylor's a lefty. One two count from Zimmerman. As he'll pop this one up, it's gonna be a close play. But the play is made, so Milwaukee will knock off Washington in five and advance to the NLCS. <laughs> but Nayer, thank you for tuning in for basically the entire stream. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll kick you in a little bit too. I'm just gonna save this quick. Right. See you later, man.